back. And uh, man, it is going to be a good show. I think we have, yes we do, we have, I'm making sure. What is going on everybody? Look at all the people saying hello fellow nerds. Welcome to a, another episode of Roby Tech. Guys, we changed, so today's show change. We wanted to make sure we gave a little bit more time and heads up for the giveaway builds. That is getting moved to next week, so don't worry. That's still happening. It's just gonna be happening next week. So we're gonna be building another awesome uh, PC that we're gonna be giving away. We're actually building two PCs next week that we're gonna be giving away. So you're gonna have lots of options to win some incredibly powerful PCs uh, coming up. What is going on, everybody? I saw somebody say I should change my name to a different thing. So. And then I, I realized what it was, I missed what it was. What's up, what's up, PC Works? Good to see you. Yeah, it should be fun. It's, you guys got to double the chances right before Christmas. Yes, it is a crate. It is a wooden crate from Origin. We'll open this here in a minute. So, uh, you know, I've always been going at Shoe Mouse, Shoe Mouse, seven months. That's huge, man. Happy anniversary, dude. Seven months, it's seven months. Shoe Mouse, Shoe Mouse. It feels, it sounds fun to do that. Um, it's a wooden crate, yeah, so. Just bought a Z690 i7-12700 Corsair uh, and a lot of other parts. Now the waiting game to receive and hope it all works. It'll be fine, Mr. Dave, it will be fine. Tinted Bobcat dropping 100 bits. It looks like it has my name on it. It does not. It has no name on it because it took off all the identifying stickers. That's the way it always is. I'm a stretcher post-surgery, excited for this build. Thank you always to be there. You're welcome, Mega Mikery. Mikey. So yeah, dude, you're welcome. And I'm glad you're recovering. Have a safe recovery. That's Cole Martin, that's, a, that's not true. Cole Martin's like our resident Scrooge. She just makes people sad. That's not true, Cole's awesome. Um, so I have some exciting news, exciting news. I just learned that the build mats are on a truck pallet on the way here and they will be here tomorrow, which means subscribers, look for an announcement probably on monday we'll get you guys an exact time for basically when we're going to drop the link in the subscriber chat over on discord uh for you guys to be able to pick up the actual uh build mats uh if you wanted to pick one up they are going to be for a hundred dollars um is what they're going to be selling for and then they will there are actually only 90 of them so uh and i'm pretty sure that they will sell out very very quickly so we'll basically the way it's going to work is we're obviously going to get uh they're going to be uh subscribers are going to get first dibs uh, on being able to purchase them and then they'll go out uh, onto, uh, they'll go out onto um, Discord after that and then they'll go to Twitch after that. I don't expect them to go beyond that, but the build mats will be going for sale on Monday. Uh, so just look for that um, and go from there. So just as an FYI, if you're interested in getting one of the build mats, it's going to, uh, gonna be going there. And so I know everybody has been going on there. Blue Moo, what's up, buddy? I was just talking about you, and I'm hopefully we get you squared away, because literally I got a sent you a Venmo for your win, and then it got returned, so we'll get you squared away. So it's good to see you, man. I uh, love Blue Moo, is your big longtime supporter, so good people going on there. Guys, we're super close. Let's talk about giveaways real quick, and then we'll get to the unboxing and everything else. Uh, the giveaways that are happening today, we have our usuals. We're giving away two 250 gig NVMe SSDs. The first one we'll give away when we get two level five hype trains, which we're getting super close to unlocking thanks to Blue Moo and Shoe Mouse and Tented Bobcat Gamer. So once we do two of those, we'll give away a 250 gig NVMe SSD. If we get 500 likes, which we haven't, we didn't do last week, I mean yesterday. If we get 500 likes on the YouTube, then we'll also give away a 250 gig NVMe SSD. And then lastly, uh, if you look down there in the corner, you'll see it says seven. Well, if we get to 50 subs, comes a $50 new gift card. 100 subs, comes a $100 new gift card. We gave away a $150 new gift card yesterday. We were getting super close to giving away a GPU. I mean, sorry, a CPU, which could have happened. Um, and we were very close to that. Guys, we are once, there it is, Hype Train has started. J Buff and Desolate Titan. Lastly, we have an RTX 3080 Ti we're giving away for the month of December. If you wanna get in on that, all you gotta do is drop your free Amazon Prime subscription and voila, you've won. Uh, you've entered to win, sorry, you haven't won. Uh, we, the person who won 3080 Ti in July actually won just single Amazon Prime subscriber. So basically, uh, that's how you get in on that. If you wanna get extra entries, you can do things like what Blue Moo did and what Desolated did. Sorry, what uh, what Fifth Lament did, or so other people, where you can also do things like every additional sub, whether that's a gifted sub or a tier two or tier three sub, gets you extra entries. Tier two gets you five extra entries, tier three gets you 10 extra entries, respectively. So lots of really cool stuff going on. Those are all the giveaways. Let's finish out level five, and then we'll open this up, 
And then we'll start building Tony the Baller's PC. It's an Arctic Lee and Lee system. Uh, another really rad one. Pretty excited about this. And that is the plan for today. Uh, and then I've got to go to my son's Christmas concert. So that's why it started a little bit early today. So we do have a hard deadline, but we'll get it all done. Cappy SW dropping five gifted subs. Taking us up there, guys. We are at level three and we're going well. Do you love more? Do you love me more than RGB? If so, you have to do a wide angle. I don't understand. Okay, I'll go wide angle because I love you more than RGB, but not much more. That's a, that's a tough choice. That's a tough choice. There's the wide angle right there. It's not, why is the wide angle? Oh, that's frozen. Hold on, let me fix that. That's setup wide angle. Hold on. Uh, properties. Let's fix that cable. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Should come back. There it is. Now it's all fixed. So going from there. Hey, uh, hey, Dad. Can you grab me a drink again? I'm sorry, I forgot. Uh, so, Cappy, there we are. Level three hype train. Three minutes and 38 seconds left to go, guys. Let's get the hype done and get out of there. Um, so, yeah, I forgot it. There it is. Wide angle. You guys can see the top down. We've got the Lee and Lee over here, and we're good to go. So there you go. Uh, it means uh, uh, it means it means that you are happy, right? <clears throat> Uh, how are things with everybody else, guys? Let's finish this out. We are, uh, we're getting close. We're at level three. We got three minutes and 12 seconds to go. And let's, uh, let's finish, see if we can finish out this whole thing. It, all my stuff had upgrade. Should I do a backup for just clean picks, music, etc.? So Mr. Dave, I would, if for you, the smart thing to do, and uh, if this is people who deal with this stuff, um, I would basically get all of my stuff, like your pictures, things like that. And I would save them on like a cloud system, like OneDrive. So that way, if you ever have an issue with your PC, it's not as big of a deal. It just kind of goes away. Um, and so uh, thank you very much. Uh, it just kind of goes away. So which is always a good thing. Uh, I'm going to build a PC for myself all alone with no help from YouTube. Okay, well, that, good luck. Let's see how that goes. Let's see how that goes. Um, look at all those sub hypes going on there. Well, I forgot that continuing is, it does actually, BBX Gamer, it should say resub. So I don't know why that, what, that didn't, it should have counted. It usually does. Guys, we're at two minutes and 18 seconds. We gotta get level five, Let's see if we can finish it out. And if you're over, if you're watching at twitch.tv slash newegg and you're over at youtube.com slash robytech going, what is going on? I don't know what he's talking about. We're talking about subbing over at twitch.tv slash robytech, which is where all of the, uh, like if you want to get in on the sub only giveaway and all that stuff is actually happening. So getting it there. <clears throat> so thank you very much for all those follows. Um, going from there. Uh, you should get the book guide. Yes, you should, St. Patrick. In fact, oh, and that reminds me, we did have two systems for sale. One is actually for, if you wanna get more deal, details on that, um, we, uh, we actually had one that went, uh, that was on sale, it's still on sale, it's the H1 starter PC. Uh, Tom, can you put a link in chat? So that is actually on sale. If you want a good starter PC, it's the H1 Mini Plus. Um, and that's on sale right now. I actually have a spare one. Uh, we're selling it just for retail. It's got a 3060, it's a great um, basically 1440p system. And so we have one of those. Blue Moo dropping five more gifted subs, making sure that we hit to that next tier. Thank you, Blue Moo. Um, so if you wanna check that out, please do. We still have that. the other one. We also had a BLD kit, but that actually is, that sold almost instantly. So we still have one more PC. If you're interested and you just want something that's a little, I think it's 1399 or 1499. Uh, we'll get a link for it. There it is right there. And that one is available if you guys want to pick one up. So uh, if you just want a PC and you're looking for something good for Christmas. <clears throat> F15, thank you for the Prime subscription. Guys, we're level four, four minutes left, and then we'll get to the rest of the show. Uh, 36, hey, if it was a 39 or 3080, it would be gone by now. You know, honestly, Tinted, honestly, 3060 and 3060 Ti's are by far more popular and it's actually, it's actually at a really good price range. So it's an all-in-one great PC. We did a review on it. It's a, it's a powerhouse. We've got the whole review um, and it's, it's just a great, great rig um, for a really good price. So thank you very much for all the support so far, guys. I know it's kind of always hard in the, in the beginning of the show because we have less viewers. It always gets fun at the end when we, when we blow through level five like nothing. But I appreciate all of you key supporters who helped us hit this like every freaking time. It's always like a nail biter at the very beginning, which makes it, it's like so nerve wracking when we get level five, but we always do. So there it is right there. Do we have to sign up for the giveaway? Yes, all the giveaways will be at the end of the show, guys. So <clears throat> we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. You guys are teasing me, we got three minutes left. Let's get to level five. 
Let's make this happen. Let's do this giveaway. Let's keep the holiday, the holidays, the holiday hope rolling. Thank you, veteran. Look at all those hype in the channel. We even got Pikachu hype going on. <clears throat> Remember, guys, giveaways are two 250 gig NVMe drives and then could be a $150 new gift card at 5600X, depending on how much hype we bring. So yeah, it, gets, it can get crazy. SRT Balthazar, three minutes left, guys. Let's see what we can do. Let's finish the hype train, hype! And then we'll open this box. Then we'll talk about parts. Let's not get a splinter. I don't want to do that. <clears throat> it's look at all this. Like I, you know, it's it's uh, it's going to be a good day. I think now tomorrow. Oh, rubber band man, thank you for the gift and stuff. Now tomorrow is going to be a lot of fun. And don't forget, if you want to get in on that 3080 Ti giveaway, dropping your Prime subscription is going to get you in on that 3080 Ti over at uh, Twitch.tv/RobyTech. Um, if you are looking for Corsair. Specifically Corsair gear, uh, you're, we're gonna give you guys an early announcement. Starting this Friday, we have a new show on Amazon Live called Corsair Live. And this is a partnership with Corsair to bring you the hottest Corsair deals every week. And so in some cases, we'll actually have during the show exclusive sales or exclusive discounts that'll run during those shows. So if you have your eye on like a face cam, uh, like uh, you know a, a stream deck, whatever, if you have something your eye on in preparation for for uh, Christmas or whatever, you're gonna wanna tune in. There's gonna be one this Friday, then there's gonna be one on the 28th, and then there's another one on January 7th. And each one of those will have unique Corsair-only deals. So if you have something that you've just, like you've wanted to get, tune in starting at one o'clock. We'll be showing you all of those features, all basically opening it all up, all that sort of stuff. And then you'll have really great discounts on those Corsair deals during that one hour time period. So you're gonna to wanna to turn in on that. That starts at one o'clock Pacific time over on my Amazon channel. So do you have to have Brian or can it be? No, a regular sub works too, Bill, uh, BLC Katek. Yeah, a regular sub works just as well. Now, if you have and already have a sub and then you drop a prime sub, that means you'll get twice the chances. So, which is always, which is also really good as well. Okay, guys, we're at level five, almost to level five, 14% left. Random Fish, thank you very much. Veteran Place, thank you very much. Spike192013, thank you very much. The Rafflecopter dropping a prime subscription as well. And there we are, 23%. Thank you for all that stuff. Will it be uh, Grim928? They're not for sale yet on, on uh, Amazon site. But the thing is, those things might show up. Like, it'll be a surprise. Uh, and you guys will be able to tune in and see what some of that stuff is. But it'll, they're, they're always like, you know, it might be good stuff. Like, for instance, like Facecam, which actually came out not that long ago. We have a pretty good deal on Facecam tomorrow, et cetera. So, but yeah, that's going to be happening. FGX70, thank you very much for the Prime subscription. We're just cruising through there. Three minutes left, guys. You have Corsair Thermal Paste. I don't think we're selling that at a discount. I know, Grim. Not, you know, you're not the only one. Ta uh, Tom wants that, too. What's up, dude, man? How are you, man? Hey, I will tell you this. Like, I was checking, like, so, uh, I mean, the markup is still two to 300 bucks, but there was actually some relatively less marked up 3070s over on Newegg, so, yeah. I'm waiting for my 480 AIAIO. Yeah, I hear you, man, I hear you. AIAIO, they have one. I know Corsair H170 is a 480, right? No, no, that's a 420. Yeah, I think, where's it? Oh yeah, okay, gotcha, gotcha, Grim, gotcha. We're getting so close, getting the hype. Two minutes, guys, we're almost, we're almost through. We just need a cup, we need, probably need like eight bajillion more subs. Sorry to say, not buying anything this holiday. Why, why not, PC guy? You just wanna, you just don't. A-I-A-I-O. Thank you very much for all the follows, guys. We're gonna get to the builds here in just a few minutes. Why aren't you getting anything this year? What's up, A-O, how are you, man? We're just trying to finish this hype train. Two minutes left. Good. Yeah, I know, it is, I really hope the prices start to come down. Uh, any night, not that I've seen recently. Uh, I do know Govi has a version of these. I haven't played with them, um, but I haven't seen any deals as of late because they just announced a new product. How are you doing, Sergeant Assassin? 32% guys, we have a minute and 40 seconds left. 162 people, we gotta make it. 
Hey, thank you very much, F FGX. Thank you for going to a tier one sub. That's awesome. Hey, greetings from Poland. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, Rubber Van Man, thank you very much for the community sub. Uh, thoughts on Dr. Disrespect putting Midnight Society near you? Uh, honestly, I'm good friends with Quinn Del, uh, De La Hoya. Uh, uh, Quinn and I worked on Halo together, so I'm actually pretty stoked for what that team is capable of doing. Vaccinated Kiri, thank you very much. XC, XC Ecstasy, QC Ecstasy, thank you for the Prime sub. Uh, vaccinated Kiri, Kyrie, I think. Thank you for the time job as well. And then thank you for the 100 bits. We're getting close, guys, 70%. So yeah, uh, Quinn's awesome. So I love Quinn. And so I'm pretty excited to see what they actually do. So. Uh, so, uh, Org Chaos, we played with the 3050 mobile. And actually, you can talk to Tom. We have a, v a video coming out on that here pretty, cool, pretty quick. So, um, and uh, we, have a, we have a video coming out for a, a laptop that's like 800 bucks. Hey, Cap ESW, thank you for ripping it out. We're all done. Uh, that's uh, with the 3050. We've actually been pretty impressed with it. So, yes, does the sub? Yes, they do. Who hacked me? Who hacked me? Yes, it does. There we are, guys, level five, and we are done. And right on time, look at that. Thank you very much, Cappy, for coming in, Goat. Everybody say, Goat Cappy, Goat Cappy. Yeah, he's clutch. Thank you very much, man. <clears throat> yeah, we're actually pretty impressed with it. We'll show it off in here. Okay, thank you, everybody. Sorry that took so long. Who's ready to do an unboxing? We can get to the actual show now. Who's ready to do an unboxing? This is, uh, uh, we are doing a whole series uh, with Origin PC. So um, I don't know if you guys know this, but one of the things that happened, when was it? Uh, Could you try again? Shut up, Siri. Uh, we went to uh, went to Miami, and as part of Miami, we ended up uh, basically spending some time with Origin to kind of find out a little bit more about them. And it was it was part of an Origin live stream. And then as I learned more about them, there was I became more and more impressed with their philosophy as a company. Now that's not to say yeah, it has real nails. It has real screws. This is like a real crate that we've unscrewed. Uh, to get it uh, to get it done, and we became more and more impressed with them as a company. And that's not to say they're perfect. Like obviously, people have had bad situations with them or issues that have, have come up. But for the most part, people are pretty impressed, and they make high-end gaming PCs, right? Everything from pre-built, like uh, full ships, all the way to super custom. Uh, built rigs. And so um, one of the things that we wanted to do is we wanted to do over the year of 2022, beginning with 2021, uh, like a series about owning an Origin PC. So we here at Robitech actually got two of them. Uh, we have a, we got a laptop, uh, an Evo 15, and then we also got a fully high-end, crazy desktop system as well. Now, the reason we did this is that there's a couple things about Origin that you may not know. One, they have what's called, they basically let you uh, return things and then use the credits for basically upgrading PCs if you want to. The other thing that they also do, which is actually pretty awesome, is they also, if you send your parts and ship the PC to them, they will upgrade your PC for free. So they'll basically upgrade it and then ship it right back to you, do reintegration and all that sort of stuff. So there's a bunch of stuff. And then on top of that, you have 24 seven, anytime lifetime support for the PC as well, which is actually pretty rad. So, I mean, again, you are paying a little bit more, obviously, given that it's an origin PC, but the things that you obviously get with this stuff is the ability to basically choose any parts that you want. I mean, all the, like, you're, sorry, not any parts. The parts that you want are all name brand parts. You're not getting anything weird. Um, you basically have a lot of customization options. You can do a full custom water loop. And then the other thing too is there's custom graphics and all that other stuff that you can do at the same time. So this is gonna be the part of the series, but we got the first one and this is the laptop that we've received. So I figured, hey, you know what? Why not? Because it's supposed to make a debut tomorrow. Obviously they're a Corsair company. So they're gonna, it's gonna make its debut tomorrow, but I figured we'd unbox it here on the show today, which should, be, which should be super fun. So let's open it up and let's check out how these things come, come, uh, come packaged, so to speak. So here, first and foremost, uh, everything that you order from Origin uh, for a high-end, dang, spam, spam callers, dude. Uh, from Origin comes in a giant wooden crate, right? And this is all something they learned. They, I heard this. Uh, <laughs> the something I've learned about, uh, I've learned the story behind it is they had the same issues with a number of PCs and then that's when they started crating them. So every one of them comes in a wooden crate and you can see we've already removed the screws and stuff like that. So here is the actual PC. We're gonna get to that right now. Ugh. So it is actually fully wooden. 
Wooden crate. There it is. Ugh. Oh, is it frozen? Dang it, the top's frozen now. Man, all my cameras are frozen. Hold on. Is that, I took it off and the camera did not do what it was supposed to do. And now it's not coming on at all. Oh, hold on one sec, guys. All of my cameras are being wacky all of a sudden. We cannot do this with the top one. TV. Top. Okay, here. First time we ever had a problem like, ooh, wait. Oh, that's not okay. Here we go. There we go. Okay. So we got the, here's the top and we've got it open. Let's flip it over. Let me show you guys the crate here. And they have a, like a whole series on what you can do with these crates, but these are actually really nice crates. Here, we'll start with the crate. So this is actually what it comes in. Wow, that smells nice. So this is actually what the wooden crate comes in. Solid crate, just the right size for the box, right? So just extra protection uh, for your PC. You can use it as an end table if you're a starving college student or whatever it is. But they're really nice, really nice crates. Okay, so here is our box right here. It's our origin PC box. Comes after it. So we're gonna pop this open. <clears throat> yeah, you can good litter box for a cat. Yeah, that's an option. What are what are other things you can do with an origin with an origin um, uh, PC crate? That's that's the question to the chat right now. Okay, ooh, okay, so we've opened it up. We go to top down here. So inside of this box is another box. Okay, now before I do the anything dumb, let me just make sure there's no like personal material in here or anything like that, so. I, I, I don't know, like if it has my like customer information or whatever. Ugh. Ugh. Wow, this thing is, man, this thing is packed. Okay. I feel like I opened it upside down. I think I opened it upside down, guys. So I failed at my unboxing by opening this upside down. Let me re-put this in. No, no. Oh, jeez. No, I put it, oh, maybe, I don't know. Okay, well, let's just take it out. Let's see what's in here. Ugh. I opened it upside down. Okay, so here is the laptop. Oh, snap, look at this. We'll see what else is in here. Dude, check this out. Check this out. So I just sent these out today. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Look at that. Isn't that cool? Holy, that is awesome. Wow. So that's like, yeah, I mean, again, it's protected, but yeah, dude, how is that? And you can see, there's the vent, you can see underneath, there's the Vengeance RAM. So it's got basically Vengeance RAM built into it. You can actually see the RAM already. Uh, I can see a 980 Pro. There's a 980 Pro uh, NVMe drive right there. That is cool. And then this is what I was super stoked about. Check this out. All of your connections for your ports and all that stuff are right here on the back, right? So nice thin laptop. This is gonna be our new, this is gonna, they knew I was gonna use this as like my main laptop here on the show. So that way it's Robitech, but then it gets done by Origin, which is actually pretty cool. This is pretty awesome. That looks great. Oh, and then there's, there's the actual system itself. Look at that, huh? We'll have to get this set up. Okay, let's see what else is in the box. 
That is cool. That looks so good. Okay, now I've, I've put this upside down, so I gotta get the other part out. Let's see what else is in here. Okay, so here's what else you get with the box. So I get a laptop cover, which is cool. I also got this really rad, there's your, uh, there's your uh, mouse pad. And then you get an Origin t-shirt. There's your Origin t-shirt if you want one. And then this is like your integration stuff. Let's see what else is in here. Okay, and then you get your power brick and then all your software and setup stuff. So that's all the stuff that basically came with the machine. So there you go. That is what it's like. There you go, a full origin unboxing. Yeah, it's a mouse pad right here, origin mouse pad. And then you also get your uh, your night. This look at this. This I this I have another origin laptop, um, and I love I love their bag. So it's like nice and protected. So here's my origin bag. So there it is right there. No, I haven't built the PC yet. We're getting ready to do that here in just a second. So then this just kind of see. And these are nice protectors. There you go. I've got a, there you go, right there. So that's your, uh, your laptop and it's nice and thin and that's gonna be the one that you guys are gonna see on the show from now on. <clears throat> uh, the laptop specs, I can look. That's a good question. I should probably have given you those. I'll take a look here in a second and I'll let you guys know what the configuration is for the laptop. And we also have a desktop coming, and then we'll... Man, this thing, like, I will tell you this, man, this thing is not, like, you're not gonna get... I mean, this thing is, like, packed very well. Okay, put this over here for now. You're not getting anything out of this. All right, so specs, you guys wanna know specs, and then we'll... Go through parts for today's build. Got dust all over my bat, my thing. These are on sale, guys, very soon, Monday. Okay, let's check the specs. Okay, hold on one sec, let me check my, let me see the specs. Um, let me find them. Okay, so here it is. Oh, never mind, that doesn't work. Give me one sec, I'll bring it up. Okay, so the specs were, okay, here it is. Okay, so it is a, uh, it has a i7-11800H, uh, 15644Hz, 1080p screen with a 3060. It's got 16 gigs of RAM, a 500 gig 970 Evo Plus, and a two terabyte 98, Samsung 980 Pro. Uh, and then uh, dual band wireless, Wi-Fi 6, and then a, a webcam and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, that's what it is. So it's an 11700, 11800H 
and 16 gigs of RAM and 2.5 terabytes of storage space for the 3060. So it's not, it's not supposed to be like the craziest gaming thing. It's just literally for here on the show to do stuff. Yeah, yeah. But still a nice, powerful thing. And then the actual build itself is rad. Okay, let's talk about who's ready to start talking about the parts that we're putting in today's build. Because you guys are here to see a PC build. There you go. It was, yeah, you were close. It was close. Yeah. So who's ready to start talking about parts that we're putting in today's, uh, today's build for uh, Tony the Baller, huh? You guys are getting no hype. Woo, what do you guys, what do you guys think of that? That graphic though, though, huh? That graphic was rad. <clears throat> Yeah, it's a, vi it's a very viable thing. Good, good. I'm glad. Okay, people are excited now. Chill, hot, and hype. That's what it's about. That's right, Andy. Okay, here we go. Let's talk about what we're putting in today's build. This is for Tony. Okay, so same as yesterday, just because it's a great workhorse, uh, workhorse desktop PC. Uh, AMD Ryzen 9 5900X. Still such a great deal at $499 right now. Even though it's not king of the hill anymore, you still can't argue that for price to performance, um, this still is an absolutely awesome, um, awesome CPU to put inside of it. Now we're gonna make sure this thing is ultra cool and same thing, ultra white. So we're using the NZXT Z73 RGB. We're not gonna be using the RGB from it, but we're using the RGB one and it's going to be a white, it's the white edition. So we're gonna be using the NZXT Z73. It should keep this perfectly, uh, perfectly cool. No problem there. For our Motherboard, we're using the uh, beautiful Gigabyte Vision B550-P, uh, which should look absolutely stunning inside of this case. So you can't really go wrong with that. So there is our motherboard. For our, for our GPU, he's using the uh, GeForce RTX 3070 Asus ROG Strix. Um, between this and the 3080, there's only three white cards uh, that ASUS makes the 3070, 3080 Ti, uh, 3070, um, and the 3090, and they also have a white 3080. So absolutely perfect and uh, great looking build. Um, and I know he's very excited about this because it's got that RGB around the fans as well. Uh, for RAM, we're using the Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro SL. Um, so love this RAM. It's just such a nice little RAM kit. Yeah, it's a white ice, it's a holiday build. It's a holiday build. Uh, for storage, we have a WD SN750, uh, one terabyte, sorry, 500 gig, no, one terabyte, um, uh, PCIe Gen 4 uh, OS drive, and then a uh, two terabyte, right? Two terabyte game drive, which is gonna be great. Uh, for our power, we're using the white gold V2 uh, Cooler Master uh, PSU, just to make sure we match the theme. And then finally, we've got this. Everybody seems to be like everybody's other new favorite white fans. Uh, and then this is uh, the uh, SL120, Uni SL120, the white editions. Um, so we'll be using those. And then finally, uh, we've got our Asia Horse white cable kit to kind of finish the whole thing out. So it should be a beautiful, nice looking white build uh, and should come out nice. I made it if I'm, I'm happy about, if I made it, not happy about this build. So I'm here to here for the community in Ruby. Why are you not happy about the build, Pran? This is a good build. A white Kraken would have been dope. This is a white Kraken. I don't understand. The Leland are so cool though, especially with the single set of connectors. Yeah, it does, it, it does, it definitely is a nice set. Yeah, so it should be a nice white build and let's go ahead and get started. Why is, why is Pran not happy about the build? Wait, did Evo just gift 50 subs? What? Holy moly. Dude, Evo. That is huge, Evo. Thank you very much, man. Of course, Inley, uh, share it on our Discord. Wow, he just gifted 50 subs. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, there we're through that one. Uh, there's that first goal done and almost to the second goal already. Thank you, Evo. That's huge. Uh, I did forgot to set this, so I need to fix that now. Merry Christmas, everybody, from Evo. I think he's just excited about his build. It's been, he's, he's been waiting for it. We showed it yesterday. 
Okay, uh, all widgets, sub goal, we're at 89, okay. So we're on our way to $100 new gift card now already. I think he wanted to be. There we go, starting the next goal. Okay, there we go. Okay, cool. Oh, he replied to my email. Hold on one sec, guys. <clears throat> okay. There it is right there. Let's get the parts put away. Evo dropping, dropping bombs and taking number one from Red Dragon, who fought yesterday so hard to be number one. Thank you, Evo. And there, that's taking it to 90. Okay, there's that. There's our storage. Okay, so we got everything we need to start the build. Who's ready? Who's ready to build? Who's ready to build? <clears throat> Whoa, shoot. I just dropped the ram off the thing. Luckily, it's carpeted over here. Ugh, he didn't really need it. Let's roll. Okay, people are ready for the build. Let's start it, half, let's start it up. Look at, look at Evo dropping the challenge. Okay, there we go. Top down. <clears throat> oh. Cool. Let us get going. I'm excited. Uh, okay. I love this motherboard. Starting the starting the fun throws. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. We don't need anything there. Nope. That's good. Where is? Maybe this. Okay, maybe this won't need them, so I think I'll be okay. Yep, it won't need it. Okay, cool. Okay, so let's get this over here to the side. Guys, it's such a good day. It's just a good day. That, 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 that laptop just looks so good. Sorry, I'll have to show it off again a little bit later, but I'm just super happy. And uh, just all in all, it's just a good day. And I like building with you guys. It's good to just be back streaming again, building PCs the way you guys like it to be done. You know, that's what you guys want, right? Just building and talking and hanging out and having discourse. <clears throat> Let's see what we need here. There he is. <clears throat> it's going good, Addy. Thank you. They really are. Uh, they are really the nicest. I have the nicest community. I'll just, I'll hands down take it to take that to the bank every time. Okay, we're just getting all the peels done right now. I never heard. Why is Prayan not happy about the build? Just because it's a no on one build? Is that why he's not happy? Skyzor. Okay, thank you. There you go. Oh, we got one more back here. There it is. Enjoy those peels. Sorry, Scott. I still have to get the build done and make it to my daughter's, make it to my daughter, I mean my son's concert today. So he's playing the drums.
Uh, burden or a gift? No. I already, uh, we have an anti-static floor mat, so. Okay, let's get our CPU in there. Ooh. There it is right there, CPU is in. Okay, next up, we're gonna go ahead and put our M.2s in. Uh, proxy, they fixed the issues for sure. Uh, so they, I know that that was fixed actually pretty quick once it released. So I mean, I have to, it's dude. AM, uh, Windows 11 is just a personal choice. I'm not going to tell you wind upgrade. I mean, we just, I just moved to it uh, like just this week. And my, uh, so it's not, it's, it's just a personal choice of what you want to do. You are in time for the RAM clicks. Yes, we haven't we haven't gotten to it yet. Yeah, it's a nice looking board. Okay, cool. Now let's grab our 750 our 750SE. There we go. Oh, they've already got the screws included. That's very kind. Look at that. How nice of you, Gigabyte. Now I'm not looking for little, little screws, okay? Popping in our 750SE. This is a PCIe Gen 4 NVMe drive. Done. Because this is a B550 board, so we have to basically, the top one's gonna be the only one. There we go. There we go. Next one. Next one. There we go. Perfect. Okay, there we go. Both drives are now installed. How does that look? Good. The RAM is not DDR5. The RAM is DDR4. This is a AMD build, so DDR5 is not out on AMD quite yet. Yeah, it is. So creamy thick, the, five, the B550s just have PCIe Gen 4 for the top slot on, uh, P, on the PCI. And then they also, the first M.2 is PCIe Gen 4. Everything else is PCIe Gen um, 3. The only two is not all of the X5, not all the B550s like have like USB-C. Um, they're just not quite as premium as X570, but all in all, for most people, they fit the bill for what they need over what you need from an X570 board. So a lot of times when I do builds um, and people are being cost conscious, or you know, basically the, I, I have a tendency to have B550 over X570 because most people don't need it. 
Okay guys, RAM click time. But this is a very high-end B550 board. Because USB-C, it's got the digital readout, it's got flat in flash, um, just a bunch of creator type stuff, which makes it a little bit more high end. Okay, so let's drop, let's drop our RAM like waffles now. There we go. There we go. Boom and boom. And done. Okay, let's grab our audio stuff. Okay, here we go. See how this goes. Now, this has two sides of clicks. So this could be really good. Okay, let's pause it. Pausing. Okay, here we go, audio test. First RAM click. Ready? Ooh, that was terrible. 94.8. Not the best RAM click right there. Not the best RAM click right there. Okay, let's hope this one's better. Oh, those are terrible. Guys, these are terrible. These are like weak. It's like there's some sort of like muddiness as you push the thing in. That was a little better, 94.4. But man, these are not the happy RAM clicks. Like I may, I don't, I may not even have to change my pants this time. Yeah, oh, those are terrible. Yeah, I'm not gonna have to, you know, silent night clicks. Hey, that's a good, that's a good term for it. Yeah, I don't even have to change my pants on this round. That's, that's, this, that, how's that even good? <clears throat> yeah, we're gonna have to write up a ticket on this RAM. <laughs> okay, well, there we go. Board looks good, though. Outside of that, outside of that one thing, the board itself looks really great. So we're good there. I mean, the actual PC. Now, this is an NZXT AIO. So we were running some testing on this earlier. So making sure that this is like, this is good. Okay, we need... All the gear, that's what we need. AI, AIO, somebody wrote an AIO song. And I, and I was supposed to sing it yesterday and then I forgot. Guys, we're seven away from 100. Let's see if we can get that last seven, because then, We'll be on our way to 150, which means good chance of a, G, a CPU giveaway today, which should be cool. I'm glad you're enjoying the Christmas music. Yep, 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 cup, cup, yep, cup, cup. Wow, I'm saying that all wrong every time. Okay, there we go. Okay, so this is all we need. go. There we go. And wow, how are we doing on likes on the YouTube? Feels like we're in good shape. Let's see. Can we get those last seven? Let's, come on. Let's finish it out, guys. We got it. Uh, Scott Smith, you got to raise the counters with uh, Twitch subs. But you just being here, is awesome, so thank you for that. And we're at 179 likes on YouTube already, awesome. Okay, so those are all good. Just putting that stuff out of the way. 
Okay, everything is prepped now for this motherboard. Guys, it's time for the rated R portion of the stream. So uh, if you're not into, if you're a little squeamish, we're gonna be stripping down a case. Sergeant Assassin getting us closer there. We're gonna be stripping down a case. You guys be ready, okay? Naked case time, that's right, Jay Blue Eyes. Okay, here we go. Let's get this out of the way. Oh, Pillsbury, be safe. Just know that don't, don't get all hot and bothered when we start showing you naked cases, okay? You need to pull out a little, you know, you, you, you do you. Hope nobody's got like a case sock. That's so bad. <laughs> oh, oh, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Time to think about. It. I'm sorry. I was over the line, probably. I apologize. I try to be very family friendly, so. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, there we go. We're just taking off all the all all the all the panels right now. If you missed it, watch watch Creamy Fix build yesterday. We did this yesterday. It was a bigger case, but not white, not as uh, not as not as reflective as the current build we're doing. Okay, so we got our case is pretty much ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and remove these in, these little these little uh, bad boys down here at the bottom. Ooh, I've got that way over. Let's get this switched over a little bit. There we go. So you guys can see it a little bit better. It'll come back. Okay. Is Tony the ball? Is Tony the baller here? Four to go. Yeah, we're four away. There we go. There we go. Game controller getting us closer. We're getting so close, guys. There we go. Okay, we are good. Uh, is Tony, Tony, is he here? I a naughty case, naughty. Are you a naughty case? Okay, let's go to top down. Oh, okay. Uh, it's on, uh, it's on, uh, it's the holiday, it's called Happy Holidays and it's on Soundstripe. I just want to know if Tony wants the, if he wants me to take this out or keep it in. I, it does six or one, it does the other. What did I do with my big screwdriver? Oh, there it is. It's over here on my really rad, rad laptop. <clears throat> oh, we're at 100. We're at 100, guys. There it is, on our way to 150 now. We've got, we're on our way to $150 new gift card. It is early. Oops, let's not strip the case. Let's not strip the poor screw out of this. Okay, these are extra. Put these away. Okay. This one doesn't have near the problem because this isn't a hot swappable drive hot swappable, so keeping the case in for this doesn't actually add anything from a, uh, from like a cable management standpoint like the other one did, like when we removed the, in the XL, which has all the hot swappable stuff, so actually pretty awesome. Okay, there we go. 
Okay, we are good there. There's all our extra. Let's go ahead and untwist this. Well, I'll untwist it more when we get to it a little bit later. Okay, let's flip it over. Okay, you guys ready? Putting the, putting the MOBO in the case. Here we go, MOBO in the case time. There it is. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? That looks good. Oh, he's over on YouTube. Okay. Hey, Tony. Did, oh, did he say anything? I, I missed it. Tony, did you end up saying anything on uh, on what you wanted? If you want to keep that in or just leave it. I mean, it doesn't matter. I just want to ask. What's up, Najia? How are you? Good to see you. Oh, let me update the giveaway. Do, 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 do. We need 150, we have 101. There it is. Okay, so everything here looks good. Oh, you're on your dinner break. Uh, what'd you, what did you have for dinner? Anything good? Yeah, what was for dinner? That's a good question. Because we're gonna judge you based on what you what you had. Oh no, okay, no preference. Okay, good. Turkey and a croissant. It sounds kind of boring, actually. Alex Delgado, Delgo, they're going. The build mats are going on sale uh, for subs only uh, on Monday. So if you want one, there are not that many, but we will order more immediately once we go through the first stock. Okay, we'll miss you. Bye, you Leo. That's why I said your name wrong. I did not mean to. Okay, here we go. We're just gonna start putting in the screws now. You don't like cases like that? Ooh, bacon and sandwiches. I had a Lunchable, so I can't, I really can't, uh, I can't really judge. I forgot to order food, so I had to have a Lunchable. Yeah, Roby Tech mats on Monday. For They'll go to Twitch subs first, and then it'll go to Discord second, and then it'll be whatever's left. I'll go, we'll promote on the stream that night. Um, but I don't know how, there are only 90. Uh, we'll have more. It was pretty boring, TJ. Uh, so just FYI, but there are gonna be, we we have more. We will order more immediately. <laughs> Has the stream ever reached a max sub goal? Yes, we have gotten nine. What seventeen or eighteen hundred subs? In a single stream, yes. We've actually gotten to the point where we've like doubled up sub things. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. Yeah, that was a, that was a crazy day. It happened twice early last, like it was December and then like right afterwards in January. Hey, Fran, I'm good. Thank you for the subs, man. Uh, log F4J. No, what is that? Wow, YouTube's on fire today. You guys have been doing really good in terms of doing that. Uh, it's just, a, you know what, I don't actually know why it's orange. That's actually a good question, Oasis. I don't know if that's a special, it's probably just because of a special read-write privilege or something like that, but I'm not sure. I saw that too, but I'm not, I don't know off the top of my head. I don't know if uh, one of my tech specialists could take a look and figure out what that's for, given that it's, uh, you can just read the book. 
Uh, Super Swag, the 870 QVO is a good one from Samsung. Um, they're nice and inexpensive, and as long as you don't plan on doing a lot of read write off of it, but it's a nice, inexpensive two and a half inch. <clears throat> I did not BBX, I did not get to play it. What time do you go live and on the Roby Tech deal site? So King Eater, I usually go live at three. Uh, the only reason we're a little bit early today is because my, my son has his uh, Christmas concert today, so we started a little bit early today. I usually go live at 3 p Pacific time. Um, and then my stream, my stream schedule is posted every Monday, so you can see when most of it is. I don't go live on Roby Tech deals, though I guess we could actually put the Twitch stream there and embed it um, if we wanted to. Um, but uh, yeah, the Roby Tech deals is just like where you go to get the deals, etc. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is just putting all of the, uh, I'm, what I'm doing right now is just moving all of the, first I'm gonna find my freaking remote. Oh, there it is, I'm blind. Uh, what I'm doing right now is moving all of our, our front panel connectors in so we can get all that stuff squared away. Okay, then USB 3.2 and USB-C. <clears throat> okay, there we go. Oh, oh, it's at the bottom. Oh, okay, that's unusual. I was not ready for that. When you're so used to it, to something being in a certain place on a board. Actually, I'm kind of okay with it in this case. There we go. Oh, that's gonna cause some issues for the fans. The bottom. Oh, our front panels went away. That's gonna hit the top of the fan. Ugh. So I am going to actually order, Tom, will you order a fan? It looks like a, it's basically a USB 3.2 thing. You can confirm with me after the stream, but can you order one of these and ship it to me? It's so I can basically, it's a, it's a, it's a device that basically, it makes this much thinner. It's a USB 3.0 extender, essentially. I just don't want to use that here. Can you order one for me, please? And ship it to me. Along with a single, along with a single SL120 fan for uh, Creamy Thick, since that way, that, that way it's just done. Thanks. Okay, adding our graphics, uh, adding our front panel connections real quick. Okay, and then we're just gonna add our HD audio, which goes right here. Okay, so all I hooked up, just so you guys know, I'm gonna actually get it, we're gonna order a special connection for this. It's basically a USB 3.2 thing that allows this to run to the back. And so it doesn't, it doesn't interfere with the fans. So um, it, we, we should be able to get it pretty quick. Um, we've got our HD audio, our front panel connections, we've done our USB-C, and then everything else we'll, we'll get to as we get a little bit later. Well, it's not to say that I'm not, I'm not giving, like again, there are, it depends on what you're gonna use the drive for, right? Like there's minimum, right? So a QVO drive is fine. You could, you, you could actually end up getting the MX500 from Crucial, that is also very good. Unless you're gonna do a lot of deleting and rewriting, then you may wanna go something with like an 860 Pro or something a little bit higher 
from a SSD standpoint. But for most games who are just gonna have the game sitting on the drive, then anything is actually okay. You're not gonna have, you're not gonna run into the terabytes written or any of those other issues. So you don't need to pay the money. So uh, the RAM timings on this is CL18. Corsair doesn't have a lot of 16 kits, uh, unless you're dealing like Dominator, etc. <clears throat> um, okay, so we have everything in here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start working on the fans. And I've already talked about this. We're gonna be using the same configuration we used yesterday. This will be exhaust, uh, sorry, exhaust, intake, intake. We'll do intake. I forgot, we don't have another exhaust fan here. I still wanna do exhaust here. I want intake for this no matter what. Um, and I, I want to do fresh intake for this too. So I'm going to do intake, intake, exhaust. Reason I'm doing this is intake, you want cold air for your CPU. Intake for this, you want cold air for your GPU. And then exhaust will pull the air out. This will still get enough air through and then we still should have enough exhaust to basically pull it through here. This is going to be mostly a positive pressure case uh, in this situation. Um, we are testing, we're in the middle of testing the ideal situations for the 011, so we'll give you what the, the best optimal setting is. But from what we've done so far, is we do know that giving fresh air to the GPU and fresh air to the CPU gives you the best temperatures overall. So I'm pretty sure that's gonna end up being optimal as exhaust intake intake for your setup. And the cool thing about the SL120, the Uni 120s, is that they have stickers to make it look nice, so which is pretty cool. So the 3.2 issue, you were asking about the USB 3.2. The reason we're putting a different one is that because that, that header ends up being so big, it'll stick on top of the fan. So what I'm doing is that, uh, I wish I could find it. Tom might be able to find it. Let me see if I can, I've ordered them before. I'll see if I, I'll send Tom a link and then we can link it so you guys can see what it looks like. Um, USB 3.2 cable. Um, Yeah, here it is. It's called the ZRME uh, standard tinned wire USB expansion header. And it basically what it does is you can, if you look at it, it's very, very thin on one end. Um, and I'll, here, I'll put a link in the chat so you guys can see it. Here you go. Here's a link to it so you guys can see what I'm talking about. That's the link to it. Okay, cool. Let's keep going and let's get our fans in. I like, I like having conversations about this stuff. <clears throat> we wish you a Merry Christmas. It's not a gibberish, it's Amazon. I guess I could have done a link. Here, let me do this instead. Here, that's probably better. Here, here's a better link. There you go. We are professional. Sorry, I was quick. There's Roby Tech. There he goes. Tom took care of it. So that's what I'm using for that cable. Oh, wait. This is not the right one. These are... Oh, this has got a fan missing. So let me go grab the other pot. This has got, this has been, this is an open box. Hey Tom, if you can order like five or six of those, that way I just have them. But that'd be better. Okay. New box of SL120s. Not that I couldn't have used the other one, it's just I need nine, so I wanna make sure I'm using nine. There you go. So everything I need is kind of in the first box. I just wish the deal wasn't so good on like the packs of three, because it just doesn't make sense to buy like three and then a single set moving forward.
like singles because the threes end up usually being a better deal regardless, even though they come with the hubs. Okay, we're just getting all the extra stuff out in preparation for the build here. Getting the stuff out I need for this one. I'm getting rid of the stuff I don't. Okay. What was somebody saying about the streaming? I must, I must have missed something. Um, okay, that's all good. These are good. Okay, let's get this installed. Okay, so we're gonna be using just, we don't need to put the stickers on even though I did that yesterday. Learning all my lessons from the last build. So they just click together just like this. So that's how they just stay together, which is actually pretty rad. So you only need one cable. It would help if I put them the right way. So it just slides like that. There you go. Now it's on. Okay. <clears throat> okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to grab that right there so it just slides on like that and then boom now you have everything connected looks like a hospital wow that's interesting Okay, there we go. So those are gonna sit right there, just like that. Okay, now we've got our little screws ready. There we go. I don't need the stickers on this one because uh, they're they're in the uh, right they're in the in their uh, exhaust, so I won't need them on this. I'll just need them on the bottom and the top. Okay, let's grab our screwdriver wow stick. We've gone through one wow stick, guys. That was a 2020. That was a 2020 one casualty wow stick number one. Whoopsie. 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 There we go. There we go. And there's our first group of fans. By the way, guys, if you're liking this jacket, we've seen a bunch of people starting to get them because it's winter time. All of the merch, all of our merch, including this jacket, is 30% off right now over at robitechstore.com. If you want to pick up a jacket, the hat, they're all on sale right now for a really good price. So um, while supplies last, essentially. So I know a lot of people have them. And that Robitech store will also be where the mat goes for sale. Oh, I love the wow stick just for that. Look at how easy it goes in. Boom, done, wow stick. Wow, so fast. Okay, cool, first set of fans are in. We're good to go there. 
Okay, let's go ahead and put our AIO together. Yeah, let's put our AIO together. I'm gonna, yeah, that looks good. Okay, cool. Put our AIO together. AI, AIO. You know what? I think I'm gonna, hold on one sec. I know I just did all that and it's it's sad, but I'm, I'm gonna push these fans up just slightly. It'll look a little bit better. Sorry, the OCD in me wants to make sure this build's perfect. Okay. Okay. Are you gonna call Delta too? There we go, that's better. Now they're, they're just lined up better. I think that's gonna look better. It was worth the extra couple minutes just to make sure visually it looks ideal. I have to re-tighten all the screws, but that's an easy, easy price pay. Okay, cool, now we're good. Now let's put our AIO together. Ugh. Oh, before I do that, we're gonna put uh, the thermal paste on. So we're gonna put Noctua thermal paste on. Oh, looks like I'm not gonna put the, looks like I'm out of Noctua thermal paste. That makes me sad. to use, we'll switch to this. It's not gonna be enough. I'm out of, I'm as out of not, the knock two is all gone. Luckily I got a thermal grizzly here. Okay, so we're gonna put some thermal grizzly on. This stuff spreads very well as well. Gotta make sure it's nice and... this up okay I didn't wait till the alcohol was fully done now I've like wasted all that thermal paste Okay, let's do this one more time. I'm just gonna use my favorite kind.
Okay, it's not fail. Let's have it three times. Let's do third time to charm, th third different kind of thermal paste. This time we're using the Kermik. I haven't used this stuff very much. There we go, that's what I want. Okay. I just want a very thin ice layer. No empty spots. Okay, cool. Just want to make sure it's even. Hey, congratulations, Brian. That's awesome. That's cool. 50 gifted is huge. There we go, now everything is ready for us to put the AIO together. Thermal paste is on, we even. Let's grab our kit here. I try to be a painting master, that's what I wanted to be. go. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do this one on the same direction. Next group of fans. Okay, now these are gonna be intake. 
Oh, this didn't come with stickers. Oh no, but luckily I saved the stickers from the other one. All good, this is why we save stickers. Okay. Let's put these together. We just need all our screws. Silver ones because they're from the everything else I do need. Okay. Let's get these in at least. There we go. Actually, I don't want I forgot, I don't want to use, I don't want to use um, washers on this because these have the, those built-in washers. Okay. Well, it keeps the height out. I don't want extra height on these, they're already pretty tall. You know, Kevtech, I never thought about that, but you don't really see them. But yeah, it would be a nice little addition to do white screws with uh, AIO. Uh, no, they have they come with black as well. have one more set of fans after this. Getting through it. Wish there was a cool way to like maybe make them white, you know what I mean? Like some cot toppers or something like that. Well, the washers, sometimes it depends. I mean, obviously uh, AIOs come with universal brackets. So, um, some of them are used with different AIOs, right? But the thing is, is the way that the Uni 120s are is that they actually have a good place to hold around it. So putting a washer on actually just ruins the dampening here. So it's just, I don't use the washers for these. Okay, there we go. Now to hide it to make it look better.
we go. I'm using Rubberman. I'm using the the uh, I'm using the Wow stick. Okay, there we go. So washers I'll use on the screws that I put in the top, just because then they'll better surface area for holding it in. Getting the cables off, prepped. Uh, I you, the thing is, is that if you uh, if you don't connect it, if you don't connect the uh, L Connect stuff with uh, the U, the motherboard, then you can just use the USB, and just don't use the RG, don't use the RGB header. Oh no, pretty much just made myself uh, a painful mistake, guys. I don't know if I'm able to do this this way, we'll see. Yep, I'm gonna take the fans off. I should have connected them first. Son of a biscuit here. Literally have to redo this all, guys. Because I forgot to hook up the fans. How much fun is that? By the way, with this AIO specifically, I do not use the top filter because the screws are not flat. I wish they were, but they're not. Uh, NZXT uses rounded screws, which I wish, I've, I've actually given them the feedback to please stop using rounded screws and use flat screws for their AIOs. And so hopefully they change. They seem to take their customer, they seem to listen to custom feedback quite a lot. Basically forgot to actually hook up. And I forgot I actually don't want to do it this way. I'll run this why run the tubes the other way. Okay, there we go. Sorry guys, a little bit more screwing than you wanted to see. Oh, that sounds dirty. A little bit more uh, using the screwdriver than you wanted to see. Um, so uh, we're just uh, redoing the, we had to flip them around. There actually isn't, there's only one connector. The other connector doesn't work. There's only one way to hook them up. I'll show you. So he was saying, hey, you don't have to take them off. That's, uh, that's actually not true. I'll show you from the top down. Here's the top down so you guys can see. 
So he's saying there's two connectors. There actually is only, there's actually only one connector that you can use on a side. So if I go like this, so you need this connector for the fans, which is only on this side. If I flip it over to the other side, which is what he was talking about, it's actually the other connector, which you would, if, which it doesn't work. So yeah, so that's why. But this one is always better because it actually puts, I forgot on this particular AIO, it puts a lot of pressure on the tube. So I'm gonna make sure the tubes are on the outside on this case. So I'm definitely doing the, I do the washers here Main reason being is that it just gives it more hold pressure and an in even distribution on the. So just here. There we go. <clears throat> It's all good. I, again, it's one of those things that I always like to share with folks, you know what I mean? Like in case that comes up. Uh, we have a link to it, the screwdriver I use. Um, but it's one of those things that like, I, I have no problem with people saying stuff because it's just like, sometimes you're right and I make mistakes. So please don't, please don't be afraid to say something. I'll explore it, and then if, 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 you know, if we're wrong, we'll explore why that may be happened together, you know what I mean? This is supposed to be a safe place for sharing that stuff, you know, is the hope. I want you guys to feel like, hey, you can tell me I'm wrong. Like, that's not supposed to be, it's not supposed to be like that. Oh. Screw just fell. No, it's actually not the screw, it's the mount. They, uh, they uh, even out pressure. What washers do is they basically, when you hold the stuff and basically the screw isn't uh, there, you see how there's now a larger surface area causing the clamping? That's what it's for. So because we ship these, we don't want to have, we want to have a lot of surface area. So that way this doesn't get, like if it gets, heaven forbid, it gets dropped. And even though the, the styrofoam and the, the padding and all that stuff inside, right? You don't want to have it, uh, if there's not a lot, these could get pulled right through the holes. So the reason I put them in there is so that can't happen. Uh, for gaming, not a whole lot for DDR5 versus DDR3. So the L-Connect software talks in two ways. And the thing is, is that Lee and Lee has a general problem with uh, RGB communication and, um, and, uh, their, uh, <laughs> and their L-Connect. And so what happens is, is that the L-Connect software is getting, uh, the fans are getting two different orders. So if you just connect via USB, that means that the RGB is being changed directly from the USB connection through to the fans. If you have RGB header on your motherboard and also USB, that means that you're getting conflicting, you're sending conflicting signals. So the way to do that is just to use one, either or, and the USB is the more reliable one. You know, I shouldn't have put those in there, but it's fine. They're actually for the AO. Okay, cool. Now, Get this down. The second set of fans is in. Cool, looks good. Everything looks good. Uh, not really, uh, just because it's, uh, in terms of, it's probably not something a lot of people would probably pay for. Cause that wouldn't, it would it'd come at a cost for, for a thing. Um, and the only thing too is you can't for the most part see the screws. And there's enough black in the build that adding extra white, I mean, adding a little bit, just it kind of it adds accents. I mean, there's a ton of black here, right? So I think painting it out like for what you're getting from a value standpoint is actually pretty low. 
Um, but yeah, I guess, I mean, if people wanted me to, we could look into it. Okay, now I gotta figure out the direction that I wanna use, because it's like, again, usually we do it this way, yep. Okay. And that goes right there. And that goes right there. Okay, cool, there we go. Now, when we boot this up, yes, the screen will be sideways. That is by design. We'll have to change it in the hardware. We will. So, because we're rotating the screen, so to speak, to make it fit. This is the uh, Z73 from NZXT, their white, um, their white version. Okay. Ooh, almost threw that like a madman. Just screw it until it stops. There we go. That is good. Now what we need is zip zip ties, which I have in here. Okay, we're gonna set that there. Now you might be saying, why not the IO? It's because we want, if the pump fails, which pumps have a higher chance of failing than, than, um, than fans. So I always do that. And then if it fails, you'll end up getting a, an error message from the BIOS. It'll keep it from failing. The only thing you gotta do is you gotta make sure you set your pump to 100%, your fan speed to 100%. Okay, come on. I just want you to do something for me, please. Get in your hole, please. Stop being difficult, there we go. Okay. What we're doing here is just making sure it looks good, which is what we want. Almost like a single set of wires going up towards the hole at the top. Kind of hide as much of this as possible. And shove all that crap up there. go. Okay. 
There we go. Okay, so there is all that. Now we just need our cutters. Oh shoot, I literally just cut that whole thing off. Look at that, bros. Not what I wanted to do. You're a little too close. Got a little too close with the clippers. It's okay, we'll fix it. There we go. Okay, now. Put that around. Put that around and there we go. Now it looks like a single group of cables and we look good. <clears throat> oh, there's still, yeah, don't worry. We haven't even gotten to that part yet. We're just on the, we're just on the front side. We haven't even done the back. Okay, let's go ahead and add our last group of, last group of the fans. Let's go down at the bottom and then we'll flip this over and do our cable management. But again, build looks really clean right now, which is what we want. So we got three more fans to add. Then we're on to the fun part, which is like GPU and all that stuff. What's up, Jacob? Jaco, Jacoa? I need fans. I was like grabbing the GPU. I'm like, oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. Yes, Brennan, I am, I am multi-streaming. I stream to Twitch, YouTube, and uh, multiple Twitches actually, and Facebook. Why do you want tubes at the bottom of the block instead of the top? I heard it's okay as long as the block is lower than the max height of the fans. Uh, so it's so the thing is, is it's actually more than, the tubes are not the right thing to worry about. What it's to worry about is the pump, where the pump is. Uh, on your AIO. And so the thing is, is that everybody talks about tubes, but pump on your AIO may actually not be in the cooling plate at all. In this case it is, which is why it's fine, but basically you don't want your pump at the highest point of your loop. Now, so in this case, the pump is not, the top of the radiator is at the highest point of the loop. If I was to mount it, some people say if you're going to front mount it or side mount it, as long as your pump again is not at the highest point of the loop. Now, the thing is, is some, pump, some pumps are mounted to the radiator, like MSI mounts the pump to the actual radiator. So those are great for side and bottom mounting because then your, your cooling plate ends up being at the top and then it doesn't have that problem. So it's more complicated than that. And the problem is, is that a lot of people have just watched like five minutes of the NZX of the Gamers Nexus video and really don't know what they're talking about. And so they just say things like, hey, you're gonna, that's not wrong, that's not right. And the thing is, it's absolutely okay. Now this is the ideal situation for an AIO because your pump, your pump is at the lowest point you're uh, basically, it's doing all of the work for it. And at the same time, you're pulling cold air from outside of your case in. So that's what, that's what we're going for there. <clears throat> yeah. Um, I meant if you look better to have some of the tubes go across the top side of the case rather than the bottom. Okay, so um, the reason that this, in this case I'm doing this is, A, I like this look better. Uh, some people like it the other way. The other thing too is sometimes with, uh, when you put it on this side, what you'll do is you'll end up having pressure from your GPU onto the tubes. Um, and the other thing too is you can have active back plates that are actually cooling. So in other words, you're actually having hot attached to your tubes, which means you're, oh, you're actually heating your liquid from your AIO. This way you know that you're not, sorry, from your GPU. This way you're getting less of that, that heat transference. The other thing too is that on this particular particular case or in this particular AIO, there isn't enough room on this side to actually connect the cables for this AIO. Um, so I have to do it this way too. So there's two parts of it. 
Yeah. So that's that's the those are there's a couple explanations for you. But heat transference from the GPU is something thing that people don't necessarily think about. It's like, hey, cool, I'm trying to cool my GPU, but now in both ways, you're basically transferring heat from the thing. Welcome, who whacked, who hacked me? Uh, it, it looks like uh, if you can get the right one, but like um, the one that the one that they make, you can, and it's actually okay. Um, you just need to make sure that you set it back, and you're gonna have some weirdness in the front. We're in the middle of doing that right now with creamy thicks. Unfortunately, the problem is, is that with the bracket that they have, if you were to have it all the way at the edge, you'd essentially starve the GPU. So you have to set it back, but then you have a bunch of metal that's in the way, so it kind of looks funky. But um, it's, so it's, it's an option, I just don't know if ideal is the right term. Given the way we're gonna do it, you're gonna have intake directly from the bottom, blowing cold air directly into the GPU. Um, so in this case, a horizontal mount is gonna be more ideal for your GPU temps. Yeah, the problem is who hacked me, uh, you, and there, there's no issue with that either. Great, they didn't give you stickers on this one either. That's unfortunate. Um, that blows. This is not, this doesn't have the stickers. Um, so uh, the with that, the problem is, is that in this case, if you put it on the side, um, and then you did intake from there, the problem with this case is actually this. So because the fans aren't directly connected to the outside of the case and you have the space here, they're not pulling air directly from the outside. In fact, they're pulling air from within this case, which can be trapped and stagnant. There's not, it's just weird, right? So we've seen, we've seen actually better uh, cooling from pulling it directly from the top than doing it from the side. And that just has to do with the design of the case. This is not an airflow case. Like people don't know that. That's why they made the air version of this case, yeah. Which, if you realize in the air version of this case, they did not side mount the fans there in the front for that very reason, which is why this is, that's why this, the ideal place to put your AIO is not on the side, it's on the top or on the bottom. <clears throat> I have not yet seen, seen it yet, Kurosaki. I've been so busy, but now I've actually got time again. Yeah, this is more of a water cooling build. And that's how DeBauer and Lee and Lee designed it. But that's why they're, it's funny because everybody's like, what do you mean it's not a good airflow case? It has nine fans. Yes, for cooling radiators. <clears throat> but yeah. Now, do you need to go back and reconfigure your case? No. Because in the real world, does it really matter? Probably not. I mean, you're probably talking about, you know, maybe a change of three to five degrees, but if you're like into extreme water cooling or cut, extreme overclocking, that might matter. For most people, it doesn't. So I just wanna be super clear. It's well within the margin of error, so should you go change everything? No. But if you wanna talk about optimal, which is what so many people like to get hung up on, then optimally, uh, it might be better to do that. I'm just, I'm, right now I'm really bummed because this did not come with stickers. And I wanna put stickers on the bottom of this. So I might see if there's a way to do that later. And see if I can get a hold of some stickers. Yeah, that, the biggest concern if you're using something like a 3090, which has an active back plate, and you know, actually has RAM, et cetera, on the back, that's where you end up having the bigger concern. And most 3000 series cards, when you start getting the 3080 Ti's, et cetera, actually do have a, an active back plate, so.
Um, in this, with this one, you don't need, you don't, it depends on what you use. If you use Corsair, um, no, because there's, you'll, you'll have, uh, if you use Corsair, no, because uh, in a Corsair IIO, it just depends. If you, or if you're gonna use nine standalone fans, and yes, you're gonna need some sort of, uh, you're gonna need some sort of uh, controller. Okay, last screwing in of fans. There's always like a big moment in a Lee and Lee build when the uh, when you finally get all the fans installed. So many blooming fans in this case. I mean, most of the time when you put in the IO, you're like, oh, I'm pretty close to done. But there's always like in a Lee and Lee, you're like, ah, surprise, you got one more set of fans to install. Okay, four more screws, guys, we're done. Who, me? Oh, Bloomin? I don't know, I, I don't know why I use it. I like that word. Oh, I got, never mind, there's, I lied, there's one more screw after this. One more screw. Then we're done. Okay, there we go. It didn't quite go in all the way. I don't know why it's There we go. Okay, cool. Now that's in. Put this back on the bottom. Never be down here again. Ugh. Now we're gonna just add a couple one cable at the bottom here. Man, why does this keep getting wacky? I feel like my cameras are struggling. It's actually not the cameras, it's the software. There we go. Okay. And what we're doing right now is just to keep keep cables kind of centralized. Any weird pop-up stuff or anything like that, that's what we're working on right now. There we go. little things to keep it looking polished. There we go. Okay, cool, looks good. Okay, so we have all of our fans now hooked up. The build's basically ready. All we gotta do now is turn it over and get the kind of the, the blast kind of, the cabling kind of in order now. Always the fun part.
first thing I'm going to do is take this because I don't need it. These things can just get essentially cable managed out of the way. Grab some big cables too. Need lots of options for cable ties. So my Vermeer build, I had to take the top and bottom and output radiator on the side panel. The reasoning was because this way the intake from the top and bottom is about cool the GPU. I did it opposite way, outtake top and intake side panel. Then it seemed like the air wouldn't really cool the GPU. Does the logic make sense? I have intake top, intake bottom, and then output radiator. That's exactly what I did, whole hack me. That's exactly what I've done right here. So yes, your logic makes sense because it's the exact same logic I'm using. Unless I read that wrong, but I'm pretty sure you're doing the exact same thing I just did. Yeah, you want cold air to the GPU and cold air to the CPU. Logic alert, yeah, don't use logic. That's, that makes no sense. Nobody should use logic, right? That doesn't, we should never use logic. Would you want to do that? What has that gotten anybody? Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm going to go ahead and wrap this down because this is where we're gonna hook up that other cable. Put this out of the way. So our other cable is gonna to come to this. Should be there should be enough room. So I'm gonna bring this one a little bit up. Now, for this, like really, it's just about getting everything into the underneath the spine, the spine cover essentially. And that'll make it look super clean. There we go. That takes care of our two main offenders here. Okay, so there's that. Now what we wanna do, basically need to just hook up our, so you guys are asking, a lot of people have been asking, when you, so what do I connect to make this work with the gigabyte? And the way that you do this is I'm going to connect the USB and when I connect this, I'll connect power and I'll connect my fan, but I will not connect the RGB header that also comes out of this to the motherboard. Everything will be controlled via the USB. Well, it will make some difference, yes, because again, you're pulling air from this chamber, which isn't efficient. The best place to put it is at the top, but that's up to you. I mean, it's like, we're not talking about a massive degree difference, but there is some difference because you're not cooling the, you're not cooling the GPU directly with cold air. Yeah, top exhaust, like the thing is the side exhaust, you get a like, this is called, Pran, I'm good. This is called the Holiday. It's called, it's on, it's on uh, my uh, Soundstripe and it's called Ho Happy Holidays is the name of it. This has got to go all the way down and out. So I'm hoping this is going to be fine. So 
before I get too far into this, I'm gonna go ahead and hook up all the rest of the cables that need to get hooked up. It seems like it's longer than it used to be. But I mean, in the end, guys, does it really, is it, is it worth changing at all? No. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is here's here's the cables I'm I'm hooking up for the I want for the thing. So I'm gonna take this one and plug this in. There's that one. Same thing with this one. There we go. Okay, those are all plugged in now. So now I'm going to take the USB and the, so all I'm hooking up to the motherboard in this case is the USB and the, and the fan header. Everything else I'm not plugging in, not plugging in the RGB header at all to the motherboard. Run these through. Okay, let's go to the other side, hook them up. go. There we go. And we're going to hook this one way down here. There we go. Okay. Now we're going to grab one small zip tie. Let's finish hooking up everything now. Ugh. Top down. Okay, cable management time, guys. We can finish out pretty much almost all our cable management at this point. So first thing I'm gonna do is work on everything coming out of this little junction box. Get it kind of squared away. Let's get the cables I don't care about right now out of the way. Here's that RGB cable I told you I was not gonna hook up. Still not hooked up. It will continue to not be hooked up. Okay, we're just gonna loosely, again, for this one, it's not gonna be, it's not about like cable, I mean, the cable, cable management is important, but it's just going to be like, it's all about just getting everything grouped and then out of the way. Because it's just, it really kind of just sits. 
kind of sits down here. And now let's take this. I want to kind of get this into Take care of that. Okay, that's all spined up. Yes, you do need to plug the RGB into the controller. Yes. The only thing you're not plugging, you're not plugging the RGB into the motherboard. You're just plugging the R, okay. So here's the deal. This box is what controls the RGB for the Lee and Lee fans. It has two inputs. It can basically change the RGB via USB or it can change the RGB via the motherboard header. The problem that people are having with this is that the motherboard header is not working well. So what you do is by, the way to avoid that is basically to just have this control it and the way it does it is via the, the Connect software and not using the, the RGB header. So all I've done is just not use the RGB header on the motherboard at all for anything having to do with Lee and Lee. So this is going to go into three. Goes into three. There we go. Yeah, I can, uh, let me do it, give me a second. Let me finish this and then I'll, I'll repeat it one more time. Wow, that's weird that you have that many. So you, so I was, what I was saying about the RGB is that if you're hooking up, if, you're, if you want to do this with a gigabyte motherboard, and this is what we've noticed about any motherboard where we have this issue, is that you don't have to use, like where the conflict usually ends up being is with the RGB header uh, that comes with this. So here, right here, I have the RGB header that comes out of the Lee and Lee, out of the fan, out of the hub. I do not hook that up. Basically, the only thing this is hooked up to is USB, and then now the USB is gonna change RGB for all of these. For everything else, you hook up the fans just like you're supposed to. So I'm gonna hook up the RGB just the way it's supposed to be hooked up now. Uh, so both the RGB connector and the regular fan get hooked up. Yeah, it's, I mean, the thing, the reason the cables are so long is because that way they, they, it doesn't just work for small cases. So there's more than this case right out on the market. So there's a bunch of, the cables are long. So the case is more, so the cables are more universal.
I mean, Lee and Lee wants people to buy their, their fans for all of their stuff, you know what I mean? Not just... What I'm just doing right now is untwisting the cables. There we go. And those cables are super hard to get in sometimes. Actually. I don't want to put I don't want to put these in here. Dang it. Forgot. I'm gonna be sequential with this, so. My favorite go-to case for ATX builds is between, I have two. The one that I choose more often than not, just because of ease of use, is actually the Fantex P500A. Um, just because, and then the second, very close second, is the Corsair 5000D. Um, couple reasons, one, um, the 5000D is just a, like, a, it's a, just such a no-nonsense, ultra-performing um, case. It, like, there's no, there's no, qualms, there's no, like it's just easy to build in. Um, but it, you know, at the same time, and at the same time, it's, it's, it's pretty, it's not basic, but it's, you know, it's not as, it's not as, I don't know, aesthetically, maybe aesthetically pleasing as the 5000D, but I love it as terms of just building as a case. So that's my, kind of my other one. So hopefully that helps. There we go. Okay. Two sets of fans hooked up. One more set and then we're done. Last set of fans, guys. That's just power. Is he streaming? That's funny. How many people are watching him, though? I try not to, like, not that I don't like, I mean, obviously I'm friends with, with him and we've done builds together. How many people are watching him, though? A lot. Okay. Well, that's why I don't. I don't have a tendency to stream people who like have a ton of people watching them right then. I'd rather give it to other like uh, other growing ones, you know, because like Dead Mouse doesn't need my help. <laughs> Uh, not a whole lot. I mean, after a certain amount of time, certain AIOs actually have made it so you can actually perform your own maintenance, like adding additional liquid if you wanted to, etc. But I mean, they have pretty long lifespans, usually longer. Well, I, don't, I guess I can't say usually. I don't know how long most people keep their PCs, but 
They're meant to last a very long time, like seven years. Uh, no, they're still hard to come by. I just have a lot of people who help me buy them. Oh, also, yeah, also, yeah, definitely Dead Mouse is not family friendly. He worked really hard on my stream to be as family friendly as he could, which I appreciated. There you go, Hemp Racer, laying down facts. All right. Okay, all of our fans are in now. Gonna hook these two up. So that way we have them kind of controlled together. I think we should be ready for the next hype train, by the way. Oh no, EVGA is another one. EVGA is pretty close in terms of prices. There we go. And there we got a build now. Okay guys, let's get our GPU in. That's where we're at. Take a drink. We don't have a whole lot of other stuff to do. That away. Where's my drink? Oh, there it is. Okay. Woohoo! Okay. Let's get our GPU out. Guys, let's go ahead and start Hype Train because it's like a good time to start the Hype Train when we basically do GPU. It seems to align with this pretty, pretty much almost every time. So let's see what we can do to start kicking off Hype Train. So the second thing we need for the next, for the uh, next uh, giveaway. We've already peeled all the peels, by the way, on this one. There we go, Shane. Now, just as an FYI, guys, one of the things is that a lot of people don't know this. One of the things we have, guys, is we have a 3080 Ti sub-only giveaway that's coming up. So if you want to get in on that and you're over at twitch.tv slash robotech, drop your free Prime subscription. That will get you an entry, a free entry in. In fact, our guy who won the 3080 Ti in July won off of a single Prime subscription. So if you want to basically get a chance, that's how you do it. Now, if you want to get extra entries, you can subscribe. Uh, you can do gifted subs, which so many people have done. Gifted subs get you extra entries. Lastly, you can do things like subscribing to tier two and tier three. That gets you five extra entries and 10 extra entries, respectively. So if you do like 20 gifted subs, it gets you 20 entries, etc. That's how it works. So let's, uh, let's see. you can do that. Prime subs can start to kick it off. And then from there, we can do the rest of the, the rest of the awesomeness of the, uh, Thank you very much for the 500 bits, man. Hey, SI Swan dropping one, just doing one month at tier two, getting his extra entries in. Yes, I have a chippy. 
Uh, Devin, it's uh, twitch.tv slash Robitech if you want to pop on over there. Let's keep it going, guys. We're close. Yeah, this GPU is always beautiful. Let's get that hype train going. There we go, Creamy Thick dropping 10 gifted subs. Enjoying your stream from yesterday. We're one away from unlocking the full hype train. There we go, it's Tiebreaker dropping with Prime. There it is right there, Epic River dropping his gifted sub. We're getting close to $150 new gift card. Hemp Racer, five gifted subs. Thank you very much, guys. Taking us to 128, let's keep it going, guys. Blue Jays resubscribing for one month. Happy 16 month anniversary. 16 months. Count it. T minus four days and counting until my Robotech shirt gets here. It's the first thing I bought with my $150 new guy and a one. Thank you. That's awesome, Count. So I bought a uh, bought uh, Robotech merch. That's amazing, dude. That's awesome. Yeah, actually, I think uh, I watched them ship it out. They were uh, shipping it out today or yesterday or something like that. Go to top down, and here is that beautiful card for you guys. Celebrating hype around the GPU. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? We took all the time to make sure that we didn't. I knew we had to be smart about timing on this one, so. There it is. Okay, we are at level four, almost at level five. Let's keep it going, guys. We're 10 away, or 20 away from the next gift card tier. Let's see if we can do it. Come on, we can do it. There we go, no? Yeah, that's all I do. Okay, good. Look at that. Does that not look good? Yes, it does, uh, GW. Muddy Creek, resubscribe for one month. There's your, there's your all white build right there. How's that look, guys? Oh, we need more likes on YouTube as well, guys. Uh, head on over to twitch.tv, uh, youtube.com slash robytech. Red Dragon, there he is, 10 gifted subs. Oh, I think he's gonna take his spot again. Oh, maybe not. A Red Dragon, he, like, uh, Cybo, uh, Cy uh, Evo Cyber came in and took your, took your crown for a minute. Sticks, one, two, one, one, subscribe with Prime. There we are. Corona King resubscribing, guys. We're eight away. Red Dragon dropping 10 more. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I think he took it back from Evo. 225%. There it is, 153, guys. We are on our way towards a... We're on our way towards a CPU now, 250, and then we give away a 5600X or a 12600K, whichever you want. <laughs> Evo, I appreciate you, my friend. It's all good. There's the sub goal. There we are, 100, 227%. Two minutes left, guys. Sweets, sweets cookie. Thank you very much. iDark0, thank you for the one month sub. I'll update the giveaway real quick. We're on our way. 250 is the next tier, guys. We're at 155, okay. There we go, next goal is up. It's either a 5600X or it's a, there we go, Koala dropping their prime sub. It's either 5600X or a uh, 12600K, whichever you prefer. Red Dragon loves you, we all do. Okay, next part of this whole thing 
is our white cables, which everybody also loves. Making this build look super clean. Yay, Lainey, that's awesome. I'm glad. Veteran, thank you very much for the sub. If someone ha does get a $150 new gift card, can they use it on a builder's mat? Yes, they can. Okay. And guys, don't forget, starting January, we'll start, we're coming up with some ideas for, uh, for finally using channel points. This is what we're working on over the next couple, couple weeks is figuring out how to use channel points in a way that's really good. Because I know some people, I think Tented Bobcat Gamer, I think that's what I saw from you, you have the most channel points. Okay, so once we're done with this, before we turn it on, we're gonna run over, do deals. We'll also talk about our our our, uh, our people for our sponsors for today's stream, which is uh, the fine folks over at VIP CD give, CD key giveaway uh, C, CDK deals. So we'll go through them real quick and then turn this on. And then I got to go be a dad and watch uh, watch my son's Chris choir concert or yeah Christmas choir concert. Yeah, I think, how many, Tented, how many do you have? Yeah, but he has a lot. Whoa, stick stop and 10 gifted subs. Thank you very much, my friend. Power supply will be in, is going to be in the back. We haven't done it. We haven't installed it yet. Tony, are you happy so far? Gosh darn it! It's been a pain in the butt. That's good, John. That's that's good advice. John's build advice is don't leave your ham and cheese inside the build. Seems good. Unless you want it toasted. That's a good call. That's a good call. Yes, I'm here. Laney's got 14.9. Is Tented, Tented leave? Tom's got 266,000. What's up, hi. That's what I said Tented, I, mean, I, said, I, mean, I wasn't saying Tented. Might be my accent. That's one kind. That's the wrong. That's the right kind of spam, right? Don't feed your PC after midnight. That is also positive advice.
Did he leave it? I guess he's not here. Uh, play any new games. I've played Halo. Played a lot of Halo. Um, I'm playing a game called Something in the Sky, City in the Sky or something like that um, um, on Switch. Um, I've been playing, uh, I played the new, I've been playing the new turn-based strategy game from uh, Riot, their campaign one, uh, that this single player one. Um, and then uh, I'm playing Forza Horizon 5. That, I haven't had a ton of time, but I have, those are the ones that I've been playing. Elden Ring, yeah. I have never actually eaten Spam, ever. So my feedback is, I don't know. The idea of it concerns me. So I've never eaten it though. Uh, Noah, yes, I have built in a 4000D. Joe, we actually did a, we, it's not bad. You just gotta be smart about what parts you put in there. It's a trap. I don't have a ton of time, Kilt Man, but I do get some. Not a bunch, but I try to play some. I have not built in the air yet. Uh, I have one in the other room. I haven't, it's, uh, the plan is to do it in early, uh, in early January, we'll do a build. I've been try I've been so behind on my my um, uh, commissions that I've had to like I've had to like focus on getting commissions done when I've actually had time to stream, which wasn't as often as I would have liked in November. But I'm back to stream normally. But there's gonna be a lot of mod Mondays next year. So, it's not a bad thing. It's just, there's a lot of my money. Okay, we're gonna move this up a little bit. So Squirtle, their setup is intake because you want to pull cold air from outside the case in. And you also want to pull, these are intake as well to pull cold air directly to the GPU. And the only two is the side fans are, I, I already talked about the, the way the airflow fits in this case. That's why in the mini they actually move the fans to front mounted in the air because these don't do a very good job of pulling air or exhausting air. Are we going to hit 250? Are we really going to hit 250? Uh, it's good, mostly Martinez, but that's because you've been staying out of it. Just kidding, I miss you, I love you. Just had to, I, you, you threw it out there. Um, okay, now last fans. Bonnie's thinking we're gonna hit 250. That's 80 subs, are we really gonna do it? Nate America, 13 months, man. Happy 13 months. Oh, that's cool. That's awesome, little Riddler. Yeah, you helped a lot on that, Evo and uh, Red Dragon. It did a lot towards trying to get us there. Red Dragon did a bunch yesterday too. I know, I saw, I didn't see, did I? I say. <clears throat> I said Nate America. Yeah, did I not? Did I say man? Yeah, Bob already said I did. And we, we actually have lots of builds like of that, and it's a great case. You just have to be smart about what you put inside of it, but it's not hard to build in if you if you build within its limits. Yeah, 
It's a great case. I like that case. Red Pyramid Head, what's up? Five gifted subs. Trying to make Blondie's, Blondie's uh, prophecy come true. Nobody wants to make Blondie a liar. Here we go. Okay. How many do I have? One, two, three, four. I think I do five. I guess I might do one more. <laughs> Blondie is the ghost of Roby's present, huh? I haven't watched this movie. I haven't watched that movie this, this holiday season yet. I like the Jim Carrey one. That one was really good. I also like the Muppet one, because I'm a Muppet. I'm not really a Muppet, but. You Muppet. Okay, five on that. Dewum Slayer! Hey, I haven't heard back from you, Dewum Slayer. I sent you an email, did you get it? About your build? Oh, congratulations, Nate. Well, welcome to back to the family. We missed you. I like, I did like that movie, Prying I'm Good. It is, uh, it was the modern day take of a Christmas story. It was not as good as a Christmas story, but it was, it was pretty dang good. Well, it's like, what's your record amount of viewers on Twitch? I mean, in a single stream, like 3,600 concurrence. I think we had like 22,000 people that time, but that's the most I've ever had in terms of a stream. I mean, on average, we have between five and 10,000 people tune into a stream on a regular basis. Old people, wow. Thank you very much, GD Kicks. Divine Dragoon. Guys, we're getting close to 200 in. Maybe we will make it. Maybe Blondie is prophetic. Maybe she knows something we don't. Maybe she's tapped into that vein. Ooh, that's a tough choice. Uh, there, those are both great choices. Which one you like the most? Oh, they're both great. Raider six three six. Thank you for the prime sub. The sub, yeah. Three months. Happy three months. Who's watching Spider Man this uh, this weekend? No, there you're not able to do that. Four thousand D. You can't do bottom fans. Oh yeah, if there's, uh, don't worry, if there's any, if there's any spoilers, they'll just get flat out 
band. I was just curious, jeez. Yeah, I'm, I think we're gonna try and go tomorrow night or sometime this weekend. Okay, guys, we're at the very end of this whole thing, just getting the last. Die Hard is a Christmas movie. There are two kinds of people in this world, people who think that Die Hard is a Christmas movie and people who are wrong. He even says, ho, ho, ho. Okay, here we go. Feels like that's good. PSU time, guys. Well, guys, if, oh, by the way, we do have a PC for sale. It's 3060 Ti, it's in an H1 mini case, it's, uh, it's got a uh, uh, 11, a 10th gen, I don't, uh, yeah, it's the streaming, it's a mini, it's the mini plus PC from NZXT, it's sold out. We have an extra one. If you're looking for a PC for the holidays, it's ready to ship. And uh, we can get you the link for that one right there. And we have one, and it, it'll go out tomorrow if you want it. We had an NZXT build one, too, but that sold out. Somebody bought that already. Uh, there's a PC for sale right there. Yep. That's the one we have for sale if you guys want one. If anybody's looking for a PC for Christmas. It's a 3070. Oh, uh, the GPU. Oh. Okay, cool. Now we're just down to the last bit of this whole build. Last bit of the build, ladies and gentlemen. And that would be the power supply. That's all we have left. Who's excited? Ugh. You should already have them if not, they're in your box, uh, Jakira. I don't know, we'll find out. Yeah, fresh PC, uh, fresh PSU smoke coming up. Tony's happy, yay. Uh, top and bottom are intake, uh, side is exhaust. Guys, we're, we're 415 to 500 at YouTube. Make sure we go hit that like button. Oh, so gnarly. Oh, so gnarly. Woo. Why am I thinking the box in question is the original wooden crate that the person Roby is talking about? He's like, what? I'm lost as to what that conversation, I missed that question, that conversation. Whoa. Hey, Scooty. 
Guys, we're getting, we're creeping ever closer to that 200 mark. Blondie says that we're gonna hit 250, I mean 250. I don't know. I don't think that's gonna, but she has faith. Okay, what do we need here? Oh, oh, ow. Drop right on my two. CPU, I need that. Need that one. Need that one. Um, two of those. One of those, and the rest is in the garbage. No, not the garbage, the box. Okay, cool. We have all our cables, guys. Hey, thanks, Witch Doctor. Appreciate it. We're getting there, guys. Slowly pulling through here. Tomorrow is Corsair Shopping Day over on Amazon. We're going to be over at Amazon on my Amazon stream. We're going to be all hottest tech deals from Corsair. We have six products that are going to be going up there that are exclusive to the uh, stream. So if you want to know all about those and have some questions about that, pop on over. That's going to be at 1 p.m. tomorrow. That's the only stream tomorrow. Uh, it's just a uh, just a uh, Amazon live stream tomorrow, which we haven't got to do much this uh, this holiday yet. Um, so if you're interested in some Corsair stuff, uh, we got some really good deals. We're gonna be highlighting, and then there's gonna be another one on the 28th of December, and then the last one will be on January 7th. And if they go very very well, we'll have more of them. But uh, yeah, bring your uh, bring your shopping fun, and uh, probably come get some good deals. I love the Nano Leaf panels uh, dosage. I use. I have a ton of them. <laughs> I'm using CPU SATA. I'm using two VGA, and then the 24 pin. Okay. If you want to write those down, Megan. Glad to help. Look at that. Looks good. I don't buy pirate ship products, okay. <laughs> that is a weird, that is a weird thing to not buy, but okay, you don't have to. It's just part of the Christmas, the Christmas playlist that we're playing. <sighs> well, Corsair owns a lot. They own Scuff, they own Origin, they own uh, uh, Elgato. Random goods like I only own pirated products. Wait, wait, that's not what I meant to say. Okay, last bit, guys. We're getting there. This is the last pot of the build. Okay, so let's do our CPU first. There it is. Should we get the right cables there?
There we go. First round done. Okay, let's grab our SATA, which we hooked up underneath here. goes right here. There we go right there, guys. pretty a little bit at a time there we go Next, GPUs. Last one. Found the right way to do it. It was not the way I was going to do it. There we go. Almost got it. Almost there. Caleb management. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> okay, last, last cable of the build. Thirty-nine likes. Let's go ahead and head over to youtubecom RobyTech. Hit that thumb up button, guys. Then we can get unlocked that last giveaway. We only need seventy likes. 
It's actually not a ton. You guys are cranking really fast at the beginning. Okay, there we go. All builds, all cables are done. And the build is done and we are good. to make it look cleaner. There we go. And then it just looks nice and clean, right? That's what we want. <clears throat> okay, cool. Let us... do our deals, talk about our sponsor, and then we will do the rest. Then we'll turn it on and all that sort of stuff. There it is, guys. There is the build. Ready to go. Another Lee and Lee 011 in the books. There it is. Oops. Let's put our back on the top and then. Make sure it looks. Come on. Whoa. There we go. Okay, let's grab our, and we want to, like, it, this will be far less complicated moving forward. There we go, that looks good. Let's grab this. Okay. It's been a while since we got to do this. Back doing some deals, guys. But soon this will be the Robitech PC. I, was, I don't know if everybody saw it. I'll show it to you guys before I get too far on the... It's been a while since I've actually hooked anything up to this. Where's the, there it is. So we got this from Origin. This will be what you guys will be seeing here pretty soon. We unboxed it at the beginning of the show. But check this out. How is that? Look at that, huh? 
So this is gonna, yeah, isn't that cool? <laughs> yeah, so this is, the, uh, this is the laptop for it and all that sort of stuff that we're gonna be doing. <clears throat> isn't that cool? Yeah, that's gonna be awesome. Yeah, that's gonna be, uh, so this will be the new one that we'll be doing all the Robitech deals and stuff on. I just got, it hasn't been set up yet, so, or I'd do it already. Cause it's too pretty. It's too pretty. Okay, hold on, let me get the, get all this, let me grab the VGA and all that stuff to over here. Ugh. Making good time. We guys got a little bit more time to get those 500 likes. Okay. Do do do. Four hundred eighty-three of five hundred, guys. We're super close. Hmm. Laptop's struggling a little bit. One sec. Thank you for all the likes, guys. Oh. There we go, we're gonna shut it down, restart. Do, 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 do. It's coming, come on. This laptop really is wanting to give up already. There it goes. Hey, we got the YouTube likes. Congratulations, you guys. You know what, this is being painful. It really just doesn't want me to be on this right now. That's weird. Come on. We have deals to go through. Come on, PC. I told it to shut down. Why is this not shutting down? PC. Dude, what the deuce, man. <clears throat> I think it really wants me to use this Origin laptop, guys. Fine. Buy Surface. Origin laptop it is. We're going to watch me. It'll just take a second. We just got to get through this. We're gonna have this set up now. We're gonna make it so it's ready. Be good to go. The deal PC is being used tonight. It's making its PC art Robitech debut right now. It's like, you know what? We got the PC, let's use it. And we hit the likes on YouTube. That's awesome. Wow, this is like the world's like most twisted. Wow, that was like, like. Guys, be patient. You, I know you've waited, but we're just gonna make it now. 
can do it now. Okay. In and in. You guys are getting the debut of the Robitech Stream laptop from now on. It's going right now. There it is, it's, this one's on. There it is, look at that beauty. Oh, it says Robitech already. Whoa. <laughs> it's already set up. Yeah, baby. Even better. It's already ready to go, ladies and gentlemen. That's even got a custom background. That's pretty cool too. Check this out. Let's see, see if it shows up. Nope. Come on, baby. Oh well, no, it's just. Ooh. Um, I want. It's just like everything is like being dumb. Wait, this is the one I want to do. Oh, there you go. Okay, you can see it. There it is. Ha! -ha. See? Check that out. <clears throat> see? Look at that. Isn't that neat? Look at that. Already ready to go. Yeah, there it is. Robitech powered by Origin. So, th yeah, this is definitely Windows 11. <clears throat> so, there we go. Okay, cool. Okay, let's, uh, let's see. It's on Windows 11. People are like, ah, thanks. Okay, let's uh, let's get this set up. Just need to get the two the thing set up for it. Give me one sec, guys. Okay, hold on. Just getting the demo set up real quick. Okay, I think we got it now. All right, cool. Okay, so uh, one of the things that I always like to talk about is, um, you know, you just got finished setting up a PC. You're like, hey, I just spent a ton of money, um, and now I want to go and buy a copy of Windows 10, Windows 11, like what we're using here. And you're like, oh, cool. Well, if I want to do that, well, what 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 is an option? It's like, you know, if I go and say, let's go, you know, if you go and search for like what regular Windows 11 is. So if we do a Windows 11 search here in a second, and then for some reason, oh, there it is, Windows 11, 31, 200, regularly 226 dollars. And then you can also get it here for $949 for a let, you know, five keys if you want to do 10 keys or whatever. But the cool thing is, is that with CDK deals, which thousands of you guys have used here on our page, you can click on this and you can actually pick up a copy of Windows 12. I mean, Windows 11. Wow, that'd be weird if it was Windows 12. Pick up a copy right now for $31.33. But if you hit buy now, and right now with uh, part of the special, you hit buy now. If you use code RBCK and hit apply, that actually drops down to $20.36 for a brand new copy of Windows 11. So somehow made it past 500 YouTubers. How does that happen with four? Because uh, sweaty balls, we have people, there's actually 843 people watching on all platforms right now. There's almost 850 people. So yeah, so you can go that. Same thing is, is that you're also like, well, okay, that's cool. I, what if I want to get Office? Well, here, let's look at Microsoft Office. Here's Office 21 tw PC for what would normally be, you know, quite a bit more, but now you can get it for $72.25. And the same thing happens there. If you want to get pick up Windows Office, I mean Microsoft Office, you can go here, use the same key right there, RBCK, and hit apply. 
and there you go. And it's not it's and you can, it's not just Windows 11. You can also get Windows 10. You can get uh, you can get combinations of Windows 10 and Office. So there's a bunch of different options. There's Office and Windows 10 for $86. Here's Windows 10 and Office 2 2016. Here's Office and, and all of these that you see here you can get for 20% uh, off if you use my code RBCK. So again, if you're looking for Windows, in fact, I just picked up a copy today, uh, used it on my machine. It's no problem whatsoever. If you have any questions, you can just ask people here in chat. A ton of them have used it. They have great customer service, so if you have an issue with the key, uh, they will get you taken care of. There's no issue whatsoever, so going for them. <clears throat> now, uh, other one that I want to tell you about, robotechdeals.com. So you guys have been asking about these build mats that are sitting there right here. Everybody's like, oh, these build mats and stuff. So we have a couple places that exist for this. robotechdeals.com and robotechstore.com are both locations in which are all connected to Robotech Deals. But if you want to get these build mats, make sure that you have robotechdeals.com uh, bookmarked. Now, Robitech, uh, the other thing too is what Robitech deals, it's like a central location for everything that you want for like Newegg Shuffle, Best Buy, Newegg, and Amazon, all in kind of one location. And what Tom does is Tom basically scours the internet all the time. His whole job is to go find deals on tech, on uh, PC components, on televisions, on gaming, all that sort of stuff, and he puts them all in one location. And you can get that either by following at Robitech Deals on Twitter or just coming to RobitechDeals.com. So right now you can see Samsung and memory and storage sales going on right now. And then you can also get their Samsung education discount. Uh, you can check out, you know, and they have a bunch of different stuff. As well as you'll also see up here is that you'll have all the stream builds. So every build that I build is also located here. So if you want to go take it, take, if there's a particular build that you want to go emulate, get the same parts. The cheapest price as the day of the stream, all of those links are there and you can pick those up. Also, if you just want to support us, all the links here. If you're going to go shop on Amazon, come here first, then click on it. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but it all goes to support uh, here and all of the people here on the team. Um, so one of the things that we like to do on every stream is just go through what are the deals that Tom found for today. And so given it's so close to holiday, there's usually really good deals. So, uh, got it. Okay, so uh, Team 4's uh, Vulcan Z DDR4, looks like 2x8 kick. Uh, right now on sale for $149.99. That is not a, that is a, that is not, that looks like a, that looks like an M.2. Uh, Samsung Odyssey G7, uh, 32 inch. We've actually used this quite a bit. This is probably one of my favorite monitors. It is curved, 1000 R curved monitor. It's $200 off. So that's $799 right now on sale for $599. Probably one of the best 2K uh, HDMI, two, uh, it, one of, probably one of the best 2K monitors uh, you can get right now. Uh, Seasonic Focus PX850 watt um, power supply. Uh, so this would be good for a 3070 or lower. Uh, you could do it with a 3080, but you're not going to get the optimization, sorry, the efficiency that you would normally get. Uh, right now, that's on sale for $110.99 over on uh, Newegg. Uh, Seasonic Phonic Focus GX1000. This is an 80 plus gold full modular. This would be great for a 3080 or below or 3080 Ti. Right now it's 116.99 over on Newegg. Now you might be asking, Ruby, why are you saying 1,000 watt for a 800, uh, 3080? Uh, because when you want the 80 plus gold or the 80 plus platinum or whatever it is. Oh, you're not seeing the deals. Oh, that's that's really stupid. Sorry, Ruby. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, here it is right here. Here's the deals. Uh, for real. Sorry, I got so into it. I thought I switched it. Yeah, okay. It's he's tech. He texted me. Okay, so here it is. Here's the deals. Robitechdeals.com. I was telling you all about it. This is like the same thing here is that, again, you have the store. This is our, our store for merch. The other thing too is that if you want to get the new egg shuffle, that's located here and this will help you with us. And then like I said, if you want to shop anytime, uh, on Best Buy, Newegg, or Amazon. Come here first, click through, it supports us, and then it doesn't cost you anything extra, but we actually get supported for it. And then for here, here's Robitech Deals, also uh, their Twitter account. If you don't wanna have Twitter, but you wanna still see the same deals, that's also here on the front page. And so, uh, and then also I talked about this stream builds, that location right there. Uh, this is where all of our builds are, so if there's a build that you particularly liked, uh, and you don't wanna go to YouTube, all of that stuff is basically saved right there for you, but we're here on stream deals, so sorry about that. Okay, um, okay, so going through this again, we talked about some of these deals already. Um, the Focus, the 850 watt. Okay, AMD Ryzen 7 5800X, fourth gen, eight core, 16 thread. You know what? I'm just gonna take this because this is being super slow and I have one. That's just hardware, this bad boy. That's why I like these laptops.
Give it a second, it's just gotta switch to the network. There we go. Now it's there, <laughs> it's all loaded instantly. All right, so uh, there we talked about the GX 1000 watts, but again, 850 watt, if you're gonna get a platinum power supply and you wanna get that platinum power, then get, basically you're buying for a 3070 or lower, not a 3080 because you won't get that platinum. Uh, same thing with gold. If you wanna get gold, buy the stage, buy the stage above. Um, if, you're on, if you wanna get the efficiency. Uh, Ryzen 7 5800X, wow, 369.99 right now over on Best Buy. Uh, the Asus Tough Dash 15.6, uh, this is an 11th gen with an RTX 3070, one terabyte M.2 drive in Eclipse Gray for $1399. Man, that is a heck of a deal. Uh, 7400 megabert read 5500 megabert 5500 write. The S, uh, this is a very fast one terabyte PCIe Gen 4 for 130 bucks. Holy crap, that's what you were talking about, huh, Tom? Wow, that's, that's crazy. Um, the uh, portable lapel, we actually use this one. It's right over here, the 15.6 inch. Uh, this is a 1080p portable monitor. If you wanna just add efficiency for carrying around a laptop, et cetera, this is such a good deal for that. Uh, and it's right now, it's on sale for $179.99. Uh, if I go to, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I love the lapel one. It's nice and portable. They're super thin. You can just put them in your backpack uh, and then you'll have two monitors with you all the time. Uh, Corsair K60 KGB, uh, KGB. RGB Pro, full-size wired gaming keyboard. Uh, it's on sale right now for, uh, with a MM300 and a mouse pad. It's on sale right now for $89.99. Uh, Steel Series Ultimate Gaming Bundle. Again, all of this stuff together, $139.99, $60 off over at Best Buy. So if you like either Steel Series or, uh, or Corsair, uh, there's some really good bundles for you. Uh, Razer Battle Bundle. Again, looks like some good bundles on kits. Uh, HyperX Streamer one and also the Death Adder plus the Death Sh Black Shark, which is a great headset. Same thing with the Solo Cast and the, uh, the things. There's some good bundle deals right now over at Best Buy. Uh, Cyberpunk, 10 bucks. Wow, if you wanna get it on Xbox One, now's the time to get it. $10 over at Best Buy. Wow, that's great. And then uh, Asus Tough VG24 VQ. Uh, this is a great second streaming monitor. Uh, $174.99 for a 1080, 1080p, great like just chat monitor. Uh, for 180 bucks. And it's still, I mean, it's still gonna be good for gaming and all that sort of stuff as well. But if you wanted to have like a second, just 1080p monitor, there's a good option right there. Okay, well, that is it, guys. That is the deals. Sorry that you guys didn't get to see the deals there at the beginning. And there's that beautiful Robitech lo logo. And I'm super stoked to actually have uh, this making its debut on the show today. That was pretty cool. Yeah, Cyberpunk, yeah, definitely dropped quick, didn't it? Okay, so that's our deals for the day. Um, let's get this out of the way. And then uh, we'll, uh, let's get ready to, to turn this bad boy on, huh? What do you guys say? You guys have been waiting patiently. And then we'll do our giveaways and uh, that's it for the show today. Ugh. Okay, powering that up. Man, this, 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 sorry. I am super stoked about that. Is that not so rad? That looks so good. I'm just very happy. Such a cool laptop. Ugh. Okay. Okay, here we go. Powering it up, guys. You guys have been waiting long enough. Let's go to uh, let's go to mood mode. There it is. Go into mood mode. Always good for white builds. Okay, let's go to mood mode. Here it comes. Mood mode engaged. Take a drink. I've got you guys on uh, like high anticipation. I'm teasing you. I'm teasing you like you need to be teased. I'm teasing you right now. Have you been teased enough? 
Okay, let's see. It's ready. Oh, snap. Look at that. There it is, guys. Oh, wow, that thing was already rotated. Oh, cool. I forgot we did that basically when we were doing the testing. What the? Whoa. We just lost a thing of RAM. Wow, that, what is, what was that? Dude, what just happened? That was weird. It's like the PSU was having issues. We might have to switch up PSUs. Give it one more chance. I've never seen that before. All right, it seems to be up again. Nope, 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 nope. Something's going on. I think we have a bad PSU, guys. That is definitely not doing its thing. That was like, that was like, yeah, that was haunted. Yeah, that is not, that was, uh, that was not, that was not what it was supposed to do. Whatever that was, was not a, supposed to be a thing. All right, so we need to go, yeah. Uh, the RGB looks great, but we need to uh, replace the PSU. So I do not have another white PSU to put in this now. So we're gonna have to order something and RMA that and give it a test. So sorry, that yeah, I don't wanna basically ruin that system, but it's, I mean, it's fine. It just did, there is something going on with the PSU right there. So it's on the, uh, it's on the back side. Yeah. So there is definitely something we just gotta go and get fixed. I'm gonna just check my connections, but I've never seen that. Uh, the other option, actually, it could be, uh, there might be another option. Hold on, let me try this. I'm gonna try this real quick. Just to test. It actually may not be a PSU problem. One, one sec. Hold on, before I do this, it may not be a PSU problem. Nope, nope, that is definitely a PSU problem. Yep, okay. No, it's not. It is definitely, there's something wrong with the PSU. I would, actually, hold on, hold on, wait. Actually, I might. Yeah, that is, that was, that's wacky. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see what I do have. I've never seen something like that before. Yeah, I know. I was just, the the build's doing something wacky. Okay. I don't have another one anyway. I have to order another one. It's like, it was like flashing. Okay guys, sorry. I do not have another PSU to throw in there. So we'll have to order another one and get this one RMA'd. Uh, but we'll always send it back. I'm sorry that it ended that way. But yeah, we're not, we're not going to keep doing that if that's not what it's going to do. So I apologize. Let's do the giveaway. Yeah, stuff goes wrong music. That is definitely stuff going wrong. Whatever that was, was not good. So 
I just wanted to see if it was maybe a power draw problem on the on the on the thing, but it was not. So um, let me get this out of the way. Let's run our giveaways, and then we'll get our new PSU ordered and squared away. Uh. I don't have another white. I don't have another. I have a don't have another Coursera power. I mean, another Cooler Master power supply. So I'd have to redo all that stuff, and I have my kids' concert tonight. So I can't, I can't. I was trying to do something, if I could just do a quick replacement, that would have been something, but I don't have another. I have more PSUs. I just have PSUs that I can throw in here. <clears throat> yeah. It does, it looks great. It just needs to get, we just need to get a new, we just need to get it fixed. Yeah, I'm not gonna let it smoke out. We're gonna get it fixed, it's fine. <clears throat> no, the box wasn't damaged. Actually, you would have not, yeah. And we'll get it fixed. It'll get. We have plenty of PSUs. We have other PSUs we can put in there too. So we'll, it won't delay his thing. Let's do the giveaway though. Let's do the giveaway. Okay. So first giveaway is going to be for a. Uh, this first giveaway is going to be for a. Oops. Uh, two 250 gig NVMe SSDs! Exclamation point community. Exclamation point community. This is for two 250 gig NVMe SSDs. Starting that giveaway right now. That's a first, I've never seen that before. I was like legit, like freaking out. I swear, I thought I had more PSUs or more coarse cooler master PSUs. I do not. It's depressing. I have lots of VF, like small form factor ones which is what I have the most, but not that. Okay, congratulations to Robbie AZ. Do we have the second winner? Because we got both, right? Oh, there he is. And Toby Wonson, Toby Sin, Toby, Toby Wonson. Toby Wonson and uh, Robbie AZ123. Congratulations, you guys. Okay, next one, exclamation point new egg now. Exclamation point new egg now. And then this will be for a $150 new egg gift card. $150 new egg gift card starting that giveaway right now. Exclamation point new egg now. And that bums me out because I want this to work. It does, it just needs a new PSU. Dang you. Dang you. Dang you.
I'm just, while you guys are doing that, I'm ordering another one now. So we can just replace it. Okay, new one ordered already, and it's on the way. Done. Chippy in the background, that's right, he's back here. Good luck, everybody. There we go. How much time we have left? Congratulations to Tech Jagger. He moves like Tech Jagger. Congratulations, Tech Jagger. You are the winner of the $150 Nui gift card. <clears throat> so yeah, live stream. Yeah, we already got it. Uh, it's already ordered. New one's on the way, so it'll be here. It'll be here uh, early next week, and we'll get that. We'll get that squared away. So we'll get it replaced and make sure it's all working and all that jazz. So that's that's unfortunate. Whatever was going on, but we have new ones. That way, the one I actually went ahead and upgraded to an 850. So we'll just replace it, put new power, just replace the power cables will be fine and it'll basically be good to go. <clears throat> so, okay, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed the show. I super appreciated you guys being here. Remember, tomorrow we are back for the Corsair awesome uh, Amazon thing. So Corsair deals live. That's happening tomorrow, starting at 1 p.m. over on Amazon. It'll also be here on Twitch. So that's going to be basically hanging out. Uh, and then we are back potentially on Saturday. I'm not sure. Uh, everything kind of got uh, moved around. So if we can get it, no, it's not the MOBO. It's definitely not the MOBO. Um, it's the, uh, it's definitely the, the PSU. I mean, it could be, but we'll, we'll definitely, we can do some testing and stuff later on. We'll make sure it's all good. We'll make sure it's all working, but I've never seen, like that seems like a PSU problem. So uh, anyway, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed the show. We will be back tomorrow. Uh, have a great night and we will see you then. Bye guys.